Hello, everyone! <laughs> welcome to Lawful Stupid, and welcome to Missed Opportunities. Hope you are having a wonderful start to your weekend so far. Uh, we're about to get hop right back into our fun, thrilling, goofy, and terrifying game of Game of Strahd in just a second here. Um, as always, I am your DM, Peter. With us today, we have Jade playing Elimus the Wizard. We have Sean playing Jeswaldo the Rogue. We have Kyle playing Saurev the Wizard. Elena brings to us Claire the Paladin. Oh, Saurev is a druid. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Elena is playing uh, Claire the Paladin. We have the anime panda in the role of Strings the Bard. And Liz playing Maris, the cleric. So before we get rolling, just a couple of announcements. Jade, take it away. Yeah. Okay. Um, just wanted to let everyone know. Obviously, I know I keep saying it every week, but we're off new to this. So we have now got a sponsorship. Um, if you, if someone in chat wants to do exclamation mark sponsor, uh, the new game will be up and running, which is already half full, Sean. Uh, yeah, um, we're going to play uh, six to seven people, and we've got three people already. Um, so they're now selling out really, really quick. The first one sold out really quick. Um, next one up is there. If you want to go and play with Sean here as your DM, then please hit that link, sign up, um, and you can check all the dates when that's going as well. Um, there will be more DMs hopefully signing up soon. We've got lots of people interested. Just We're just trying to get them on to get some official games on up and running. But yeah, so it's all now official. Uh, we've got our first game up and running, which was a massive success. Um, if you want to see how Sean DMs, you can find that on Monday nights with Trapped at Home, uh, where we're playing um, Descent into Averse, which is fantastic. Uh, me, Peter, and obviously Sean as a DM are in this one. Carl Highly was, recommend. But, betrayed it, but, um, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, we have got, um, uh, what, day, what, 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 what day is it? Friday. We, we maybe have air off on Sunday. That depends if Mark can get the prep work done in time. We're hoping we've got the work in for him, and we're hoping that can go ahead. And then we're back. Uh, we we are on this Monday, yeah, because we had to have Monday off uh, um, due to an unscheduled break. We should be back Monday, sure. I think as far as I know, there's nothing else that's gone wrong there. But, um, but yeah, guys, as I said, we are sponsors. Please go and sign up. Um, they're going really, really quick now because we've only got the one game up and running at the moment. They are going quick, so um, you know. Hopefully, you guys sign up, enjoy what you uh, you see, and then hopefully sign up to the other ones. We've got Elena here that is interested in DMing. We've got Panda that's going to be DMing as well, and we've also got Peter. Um, I won't be DMing because I hate DMing. There we go. <laughs> all right. He he would just cast fireball on you all day. That's I will. <laughs> I, 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 nobody I'm wants to get that. merch done again and i might just have lawful stupid and then fire it'll be like hmm <laughs> what is this encounter let's do three flame skulls all right what about the next encounter <laughs> yeah. how about four flame skulls <laughs> hmm. level three spell slots yeah let's buff that one isn't enough so yeah exactly <laughs> anywho cool all right well thank you for all of that anyone else have anything they need to um talk about Very good. So, last time we played, our adventurers went on a little side mission at the behest of Lady Wachter of Balaki. And, um, well, it was an interesting adventure. Uh, I'm not going to uh, summarize it for the characters. I'm going to give a little bit of a uh, montage as they return to the Blue Water Inn Tavern where the adventurers reunite and let them speak about but You what could just go and have exactly a look happened. at what our hit point totals are. <laughs> yeah, take a look at that because it's... I'm um, fine. I don't know what your guys' problem is. I am not fine. I am very not fine. Uh, seriously. But, uh... Let me just get this going. And so you guys return um, unimpeded from 
the strange place you had just visited. You step through a, a point on the map that you found before that was curious, where the road seemed to go, the, the marking on the map seemed to indicate you go straight through a fork in the road and somehow it would be just fine. But when you turn around and step through this once again, you find the map in your hands crumbles to dust. And trying to retrace your steps proves impossible. You keep coming back to this fork in the road. Thinking, oh well, you continue on to Valaki. You notice the guards are still there, though looking a bit nervously around. They beckon you in. And you notice that the, the town guards are still there. This time, though, each of them is accompanied by a black-robed figure. Um, for every five guards or so, you see what seems to be a figure in a black robe. You, who have stayed in town, will, know, will have noticed at the church, um, heard some shouting, some chaos happening through the night. Um, you decide to avoid it, bed down for the day. Um, rest up get some much needed rest with your captive, the coffin maker, as well as Irena. When you emerge, you will also see the same thing. Groups of guards patrolling the town, some of them accompanied by a black robed figure. Um, thinking it best to meet up with your companions first, you all make it to the Blue Water Inn, a place you are familiar with. And once inside, the companions are reunited very quickly. If one of you doesn't, certainly Irina will ask, "Where were you? What what happened?" And just just Waldo, you're dressed rather dashing. Oh, you like it? Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, just Waldo enters the Blue Water Inn. He is wearing tall riding boots, black with a high polish, silver sheen, a uh, uh, silver trim. Teal trousers with satin finish, uh, shin length cream colored leather vest with a high collar, gold buttons, and blue trim. And he's got a blue velvet cape hanging off, off of one shoulder, uh, puffy sleeves, heavily embroidered, a yellow hat with a long peacock feather, and he's got a red sash underneath a silver and black belt buckle. Um, and although this looks very fine, there is also a certain utilitarian quality to it. It looks like it could be some sort of uniform. Very elaborate. Hmm. You are the only ones in the Blue Water Inn at the moment. You will notice it is early morning. It's early-ish morning. So the only people at a tavern at this point typically are those waking up from drinking the night before, which there seem to be few of, um, or those who are permanently wayward of which your companions are the only ones here right now you will also see though kind of in the corner are the two um, hunters you've met before um, seeming to be uh, having an early morning eye opener as it were and uh, and having a bit of um, food before setting out they seem to be uh, set to depart into the woods sometime soon. Well, the very first thing that I do upon walking in and seeing our companions is I beeline straight for the girls and just sort of pull them all into a giant hug. <laughs> I'm like, never splitting the party again. Never splitting the party again. <laughs> Would that it be possible to get any cheese? Yes, let me help you with that, Jeswaldo. I've been figuring out this ring. Mm. It has a useful spell in it. I'll place my right. hand on his chest and I'll speak the words Maledictus Eris and your curse will be lifted. Uh, one of my curses will be lifted. You've only got one. <laughs> no, I have two. two. I got cursed. I got doubly cursed. Yeah, I had lycanthropy like, and because I'm the one who loaded the uh, the, the uh, treasure, I got, uh, got cursed for that too. So. Oh, I didn't know that. But I, no. uh, ah, thank you, Elimus. You're right. That does feel much better. I feel much more like myself. Now, which <clears> one <throat> are you craving? Cheese or? No, 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 not craving cheese. I just. Uh, I don't feel very energetic, which seems strange, especially when you consider how beautifully I'm dressed. That's that stupid armor you're wearing, isn't it? It's not stupid, Elimus. <laughs> 
It is dashing. Did you eat a crow or a raven? You know, I didn't, but I ended up cursed all the same. So I think maybe yeah. this is just something that happens here. You need Marie's for that. It's good to see you. Do again. I? Oh, she my can arm goes carrots. round. Uh, my arm goes round Claire, and return in an awkward attempt to return the hug. But instead of Marie's arms going round, the kind of marionette on her hand sort of pats Claire's back, <laughs> uh, and she's just sort of stood there, like kind of yep. frozen in the hug. <sighs> Glad to be back. Uh, did we not rest beforehand? We have not healed at all from our misadventures. Peter? The assumption was that you spent the night overnight and long rested coming into this session. Oh, so we're lovely. Put up with that Ooh. changes things because. I was sitting at a pretty seven hit point. Oh, no. I was sitting at one, and I'll need to see what spells I've cast. This ring, what does it hold? Five spells, is that right? Uh, five, five levels spell of spells. Five level. levels of spells. Yeah. All right, okay. I will put. Yeah, a no, it was um, five it was a harrowing experience, um, but uh, well, mission successful. Came out of it looking great. Thank you. What did um, <laughs> what did Lady Vakta want of you too? What what have you? She uh, have you done? essentially asked us to help fill the city's coffers, um, with her ostensibly taking over now. Um, well, apparently, the the guards were not being paid. The only reason why they worked at all was because of fear. And when somebody took away that fear. They needed to be paid. At least that's what Lady Vakar said. Yeah. So we uh, went over to her cousin's place. Uh, except it was weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, weird like is a good word. Weird kind of normal at first. The like food was they very were having small. a party. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that, that was the weirdest thing about it, was that the food was very small. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that was enough. the weirdest thing. <laughs> the no, stables like, were um, stingy with the food as well. Not many hmm. of those. Maris, you know the, the one time that we got to go to the high priest's uh, gathering? Then they had the really, really tiny food. Oh, like the fancy the, tiny food. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. that that kind of thing. Oh. <laughs> um... And then it all went strange. It seemed like the the manor and the land around it was somehow like disjointed from the normal time flow. And so something happened and the whole house went to shit and we were attacked by like ghouls or something like that. And this one rat thing and Jeswaldo briefly contracted a uh, rare ratness. <laughs> I'm going for the full set. He's kind of custom. <laughs> but he is still just, cursed, if you can help he's him. He's still or... cursed. I can help you if you oh, Can you? I would no appreciate problem. that so much. Yeah, no problem. All you got to do is ask. Um, Could you uncurse me, Marys? <laughs> Nothing would give me more pleasure. Um, Peter, how <laughs> cumbersome is the um, 5,000 golds that we returned? <laughs> Your packs are quite laden. And it okay. takes a bit of effort to <laughs> set each one down without okay. um, hinting the fact that you are um, brimming with yeah. money. We should probably uh, get this off of our persons sooner rather than later. To feel helpful as Maurice is uh, lifting this curse. Uh, Marie's going to get up and, uh, with the help of her uh, marionette, bring some drinks over to the, the people who have just returned. Oh, thank you. Blessed alcohol. <laughs> are we to take some of this coin for ourselves, or are we um, to return it all? Oh yes, we yeah. we only found three bags. I carefully I take the one of the three <laughs> bags. Could we each carrying a bag? Right. I guess. Yeah. So we only so found that would three be of the bags. One right? one thousand one hundred and. No, one th I can do math. 
1,250 1, gold. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I mean... It is strange. I have yet to see anything here that I really want to buy. Have you noticed that? I mean, yeah. really expensive. So, all this money, it's just... Wait. Let's just go drop it off. I mean, technically, we did ask for some manner of payment. I'm just not sure we ever... Did you notice how she gave us our silvered weapons? Like, oh, here, did you get this in return for what you... We already paid for them? It's like, she thought she was doing us a favor? Did you notice that? Well, I, did. I thought that she was just... She had just done us the favor of having gone to go get them. Oh, big deal. Going to get the weapons. <laughs> yes. Say, Thank you for killing my greatest rival. I'll go get your laundry. Yes, that was <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Speaking of laundry... <clears throat> I, have, I have never done laundry. I don't know what that is. Oh, you should try it. It's amazing. D uh, Ir Irina will ask, did you, did you take some of the clothes from there? Is that... In a manner of speaking, yes. He found a very, very nice set of armor that taunted me briefly. Before Jezwaldo turned it, was, turned it, it into It was like this. one of those animated armors that we've seen before. No. No, not at all, actually. Not even uh, a little bit. Jezwaldo, how about you demonstrate its capacity? I would love to demonstrate. Let us assume that at some point I would need to be a little sneaky and go someplace dark and quiet. And look like I, I would not lock... Dashing is the word I think you're looking for. Dashing. Instead of dashing, I would need to look like this. <laughs> and I change the appearance so that it's all black with a hood and uh, black uh, riding boots and black gloves, just like Ninja Giswaldo. I think I would attack anyone who approached me dressed like that. Uh, that would be very smart, but you would never see someone dressed like I this. would see them. I'm very perceptive. I've seen, I've seen clothes like that. They have a double side, so one side is more elegant. The next, you flip it. Uh, now the corset comes down, and you have a different outfit on. It's very clever. Indeed. Indeed. However, this one can also do this. Let us say that I felt like going for uh, a swim, and I would oh, need no. the proper attire for such a thing, would I not? It would not be proper to swim in this particular form uh -oh. of clothing. Oh, God. All you have to do is... <laughs> You're going to make me do it? No one's going to stop me? All right. Oh. I, I'm, I'm looking away. <laughs> just I'm, Waldo, I'm just away. Waldo changes into good old-fashioned uh, uh, circa 1920s men's bathing onesie. Yeah, woman's bikini. Uh, this curse. The Ibs curse. You hear... Um, you heard some mumbling coming from the hunters over in the corner, and at this point, you hear a guy just audibly choking on his morning ale. <coughs> and you see, now I'm ready for swimming. Oh. <laughs> I go back into the, the, uh, <laughs> into the uniform. Question this is you way player. worse than that Rictavio fellow who was around. <laughs> Nobody's making you listen. A question for you as a player is, is uh, probably the DM as well, is what we see pleasant or not pleasant? <laughs> That's the question. It's, uh, it's like the yellow and, and red stripes, you know, complete with bathing cap. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, as, as far as what that outfit is housing... I suppose that's sort of a dependent on personal preference. That's what I was going to say. I, could, I, was I, like, could, I could go. I thought it was inappropriate to be completely nude, Claire. But if you <laughs> insist. <laughs> no, 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 no. And <laughs> just Waldo is standing completely bug in the middle of the bar. I just, I, I put, put my shield in front of him. <laughs> this is what you get for taunting. No, oh my God. <laughs> Irina just puts her <laughs> hand up in front of her face. and Oh, my God. Look away, Arena, look away. And the best part is... And the best part is... The armor is still on. I'm just just right. If I, I was to kick you right now, you wouldn't feel it. That is correct. I'm just look, looking at your... Uh, <laughs> yeah, your parts. I don't remember hitting you with a cone of cold. Haha, <laughs> very funny. This is, this is why he is named the greatest warrior. Because he is strong even without armor. 
He's wearing like armor, Sarif. No, he clearly isn't. <laughs> Just touch I'm, him anywhere also, but the private parts. I also <laughs> touch me my, anywhere my, but. <laughs> my skin is also hard, and I wear no clothing. It was a spin, Jeswaldo. It was a spin. A spin? <laughs> Now go you're flying. just teasing. <laughs> Fine. Please put it. Put. And you, um, you, uh, he, you, the, you hear the, a door open and the, um, uh, the woman who owns the tavern comes in. You hear her go, Oh my god! What? It's You've done. been cursed! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you, you, get out of here this moment! I'm sorry. My children work here. All right, yes, you're like, very well. Inappropriate, very inappropriate. I am sorry. I am sorry. Perhaps this will help. We aren't associated. With I give this her like three hundred gold pieces. In the process, I put my uh, clothes back on. What is with you people in giving away money? Oh my goodness! All right. She. How, how much do you give her? <laughs> I just like a big just. Don't even right. bother to count. He said three hundred. I did say three hundred, <laughs> but there's yeah. no three hundred. So that works. <laughs> that that works. Uh, uh, wide eyes. Please, please tell me. <laughs> please tell me you're reclothed. I am. Okay, good. Although three hundred gold pieces from a naked man <laughs> somehow better than three hundred gold pieces from someone not naked. I, I I would have to think. A better story, at least. Better story, sure. Oh, dear Lord. Okay. I'm really S hot. <sighs> um, You're turning pink. I know. <laughs> it's just, it's, uh... You need an ice pack He's or sympathizing with uh, dear Irina, who is absolutely flushed like you wouldn't believe after these, these uh, most recent events. It's but, okay. um... So, after that, yeah, you have some quiet time to eat to re have you recapped your um friends enough in your in your thoughts i mean i don't think you guys explained very much at all but, oh uh, i discussed with <laughs> yeah Ma i still Maurice. feel yeah at a loss discuss... how could they possibly have been confused i mean i demonstrated the armor that is clearly the most important thing that happened oh one of the other things that i'll do as we're settling in is i will distribute to um arena uh, Maris and Mari, um, the sort of assorted like cosmetics and perfume that I found <laughs> um, in the house and just be like, I found this and I mostly don't really know what to do with it, but I know that you guys, oh, Irina, I, I'm assuming maybe this is something you're interested in, um, but if you guys want, I, yeah, have, have these things that I found. They're not, I, yeah. Maris is thrilled. <laughs> she immediately begins applying a myriad of perfumes. <laughs> yep. Alina so, who's come over to though, me starts coughing. You, you, unfortunately, <laughs> um, as you take them out and you open the vials, you find they're oh, just no. contained dust. That's what? so sad. It seems that anything besides the treasure you took from the house seems to, and the magical item seems what? to have aged considerably and crumbled. Does that also include the hairnet and the pearl necklace? Um, the stones are still intact, but yes, they have um, become older. Um, tarnished. They could, they could um, use a cleaning? Yeah, and some tarnished. of them are probably okay. beyond repair as, lo as far as the, the things beyond the actual gems are concerned. Well, there's some proof for you, because when I grabbed all this shit, it was in pristine condition. You know, the whole time difference thing. Okay, so I'm still confused. Did you travel in time? Yes. Sort okay. of. <laughs> I'm just, I just saw Giswaldo naked. Everything went black. Um, I think <laughs> that Eli was about to explain what too many jokes to too DVD. many jokes my brain just melted from too many jokes okay <clears throat> yeah I we basically think this little so what pocket exactly happened? can someone tell the story without getting naked no um <laughs> literally no hey good to know I cannot. that's fair sorry
Well, actually, it's some interesting things that we did learn that are sort of not necessarily dependent on time is that um, the burgomaster here, Velakovich, um, like had a relationship with um, uh, Wachter's cousin and um, was basically trying to get all her money because she and her family were hella rich. Um, and when he couldn't find the money and she wouldn't marry him, so that he could get the money legally, um, she dumped him. And in retaliation, he accused her of being a witch and basically got her ostracized. And that's why she lives so far off. Oh, I believe. Or, or rather, that she, rather that she doesn't come back. And now, here gone. is an interesting question. If somehow we had managed to f discover that the food was poisoned, would we have been able to change the past? No, because we were in a time loop. So that's clearly how. But would we have been able her. to change the past? A good question. So the food was not only tiny, but it was also poisoned. Yeah, and I Peter tells and all the guests died. That's why terrible it was terrible, because it was poisoned and tiny. But would we have been able to change the past? Oh my God. I don't I don't would it have so. been what? Why was it small to begin with? I don't understand. Or, I really don't the think that's the important thing. thing. It was fancy. Party food, hors d'oeuvres. Right, and then people ate them and died, and you time traveled back to when they had died or before they had died. Allow me. <laughs> Keep your clothes Not, on. But go ahead. Yeah. Never mind then. <laughs> no. <laughs> we arrived. They were having a party. We made our way in and were extremely charming. Had some time with the hostess. At a particular point in the evening, everyone was toasting and then they all died. And what had been a beautiful, quiet, very charming town, a perfect place for you, Irena, was revealed to be not the truth. We had been living in some sort of dream. There was elements of the past that had come and taken root in the present. And when everyone died, we saw the truth. Corpses, mildew, destruction. We fought them, they fought back. We managed to find the treasure, it was hidden quite well. We recovered it, we have the money, we have this beautiful armor, and uh, an Imus got a ring or something. And now we're back. So they were undead? Some of them oh, yes. Were. Yes, okay. they were the kind of undead where they bite you and you, you, you your muscles seize up and you can't move. Oh, well, there's also right. that construct with the mirrors. Oh, that guy was a. They asshole. kept throwing vases at uh, Jeswaldo. Oh, they, can't blame him. No, I can't either, but it was really annoying. Some of the others nearly died to other ghost things. This is why we should not ever leave without the, the blessed healer. Oh, and I pointed, the, I pointed yeah, at Maris. Maris, at never the end again. There, at the end there, it was never a again. very close thing. It was me and me and me and me and what's his name? That was it. Sorry. Sorry? Yes. Miss Walter, you really need to learn his name. Well, he changes so often. What's the point? <laughs> his name doesn't change. <laughs> Does it? it? <laughs> well, I'm glad you're all okay. I have some yeah. things to discuss with you, Maurice. This ring okay. that I found can hold certain powers. Arcane and divine. I'm thinking that maybe you so channel some of your energy into this so I can use to maybe, in emergencies, heal someone. Yeah. So I have a question. Um, DM, would I know how to do this? Or would I roll for knowledge about um. it? <laughs> Elimus could explain to you that if you um, simply cast uh, a spell mm -hmm. on the ring mm -hmm. with yeah. the with the ring as the target, it will instead of being affected by a spell, store the spell. Oh, great! Mm -hmm. Okay. There's another question for people that might know D and D Beyond. How do I add the spells to the ring? That I think is going to be something you just have to keep track of in your brain. Yeah, it doesn't and, it doesn't show up in D and D Beyond. Yeah, that, that that's a I think that'd be a complicated bit of coding for them to do. 
Yeah, so, yeah. and there's a notes. I usually just enter it in like the notes right. section of it. Okay, so. I'll do that then. So, um, yeah, you could put something like a, like a, was it first level, uh, what's the range one? Uh, healing word. Healing word. Healing word, yeah. Healing word. Healing yeah. word, revivify, and. Mm-hmm. So, if you want to do something like that, I'll put. Yeah. Yeah? I'll yeah, put, I so would. Heal, healing word, level one. Dispel yeah. magic, would sure. that work? Yeah. Well, I, speak, I would speak have put, with animals. I would have put some in there. Um, let's just ignore, sorry. Um, I would have put uh, some in there from last night and I had spare. Okay. Before your rest? Yeah, I had spare um, third levels and stuff. Okay. So we want first level healing word? Yes. Okay. So I've put that in the ring. Mark so you- that spell slot off because you are actually casting it into the ring mm-hmm. right now. So. And just to be clear for myself, um, when I cured Jezwaldo, that was a third level spell slot, correct? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Keep in track. Okay, so um, on top of that, quickly before we do go and move on, how much gold are we adding to our inventory each? Um. Says... Again, I don't remember what if anything we agreed to mm. with Vokter. I, all I remember is you forgoing your cut for, the for them to send someone after um, Victor's book. Yeah. But we never agreed what that cut was. No. So do we just walk in and say, oh, we took the liberty of taking our cut of X gold? Or that would be in. a very wise way to do it, I think. Yeah, why would we go in there and plant 5,000 gold pieces? There you go. And say, uh, how much uh, do you want to give 4, us? 4,700 because of Jezwaldo's nakedness. Just a reminder. Uh, yeah. Well, we could also... we could. It we, wasn't because of my nakedness. It's because we, we require a more genteel establishment to rest in. I'm sure we could better stay food. here for the rest of our lives. Yes, better Not food, better beds. Um, so you're investing in the community is what I'm hearing. <laughs> yes, better beds. <clears throat> so what are we taking? Like 100 gold each or something? Is it 200? Sure. What? Anyone 100 know? sounds fine. Yeah. 200 so, sounds better. 100 sounds fine. Well, you're, Let's continue to you're invest minus in 200. the community. Um, so that's <laughs> for... How many people? Uh, six of us. Is this when, I, those <coughs> when I get a hundred gold Zareno pieces... Does Arena want any gold? <laughs> um, she will say, um, no, I, I... She pulls out a little pouch and kind of tucks it back into her um, pack and says, I'm, I'm okay, thank you. My brother sent me off with enough to keep me, okay. keep me well for a while. To Did he send things... you off with 100 gold pieces? <laughs> To keep things even, um, I'll take out another 700. Um, let's each take 100, and then we'll sort of save an extra 100 for, like, party funds. Mm. Um, what about you, Sarif? We'll show up with uh, 4,000 to Vokter. Sarif is just, like, holding a pouch of money or whatever. Like, uh, I do not, I do not want this. I'll take it. I just kind of hold it out. Yeah, whoever grabs it first. Everyone can have another 20, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so what we or got, I'll 100... just put it in party gold. Yeah, like, put it in, if you put don't it in want gold. your share. Okay, great. So I'll do that. So we've all got 100 sorry. gold pieces each, yeah? Yep. And the rest is in party funds. <laughs> all right, that's done. So now I have 267. Does that sound right? I've got 100. Okay. Yeah, where did you gain the extra 100? I don't know. I'm, I'm, what I'm wondering is, did I take, did I count it from the last time? Did you tell us how much we had last time? I don't think so. No? Well, we no. didn't split it up at all. I'm going to make it an even 200, because I think I'm off you, somewhere. You might have found some, I think you found some elsewhere, didn't you? So. Did I? I think so. Maybe. Oh, at yeah. the, um, I took some from the the wagon. The, yeah. um, the wagon of the, um. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Them, Yes. It's funny you mention that, too, so because as you guys just finish... So you... Okay, go oh. ahead. Oh, just so you guys know, our party funds are 500. Okay. 
as you are talking uh, and remembering that, um, you see a familiar face walk in the door, flanked by two a, a dwarf and a half elf in leather armor, and he saunters up to the bar and uh, kind of puts his hands firmly down upon it. Boom! Thump! And he's got these thick, meaty hands too, and he. Ah, yeah. Now this is a proper ale house. A proper wine house, as it were. <laughs> Barkeep! The wine! And you see his uh, companion sit next to each other. He looks down and looks, does a double take over to you and says, <laughs> Friends! Hello! Uvash is back in Valaki. <laughs> oh Thanks to Lady Vakter. Oh. Can I get you a bottle of wine to start the day off? Certainly. Or how oh. about three? How's your daughter? Three sounds Absolutely. Great. Yeah. <laughs> She's doing great. It's good to hear. She and the old. Uh, she and her cousin are off gathering some supplies. So, are you? Do you have a standing relationship with Lady Vakter? That allowed you to return? Uh, you see a little boy with a streak of white hair put three wine bottles down on your table, also one to him. He bites the cork out of the top in a very cartoonish style and starts and takes a large swig from it. That hurts my teeth. Why is Maris in? What was that, miss? And what were your name again, huh? Uh, Claire. Claire. That's right. What was the question? Oh. I was curious about your relationship to Lady Wachter, that she is so kindly allowed you to return to the town. A relationship? She's got a messenger. Said we were no longer persona non grata. <laughs> As it were. So, here we are. Been slinking in the wet shadow of this town for too long. Time to have a proper fire, proper hearth, and proper wine. I'm happy for you. Progress. Progress. I would like to do a perception Rose check to see if I can see his brother. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. He's right behind me. <laughs> I have rolled a 13. No sign mm. of Mr. Arigal. Fascinating. I, that's a lot of wine for this. Uh, never mind that. I've, I've done it myself. Who am I to judge? Um, can, can I just briefly say I really enjoy how you've placed the tokens on this picture such that they match the perspective of the bar? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> 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 Touch. I was over on D and D Beyond and just noticed it. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah. yeah. Artistic vision, Peter. I've got a. I've, I've got a. I, I do a little photography in my time off. No <laughs> slouch. Good. No slouch, Mr. Peter Johnson. Yeah. Very nice. Um. Well, we should. Well, we should enjoy our wine, but then we should, in short order, friends, uh, all return to Lady Bachter. Yes, I, I suppose. We could try to take the wine for the road. Is there never, an open never a bad idea. bottle thing here? Can uh, I mean, can our people... new friend just pull it off with his teeth? <laughs> uh, like pass him the wine. Just have him come with us. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> human <laughs> bottle opener. Um. Uh, they will provide you with a corkscrew should you prefer. Uh, but it's, right. it's up. Yeah. Well, why don't we get rid of all of this heavy Tough. gold? Let's get out of here. <clears throat> all right. Yep. So you step out into the day. Cool. Though the sun is starting to show. It's one of those similar days where um, you think, surely 
um, once the sun gets just a bit higher, it will cook away this fog and mist, but uh, you've been here long enough to know that is likely not going to be the case. Dry, but gray. A bit, just slightly, uh, yeah, dry but gray. A bit dark. Onward. Onward. So you're heading to the Vokter house? Indeed. You will make your way. You're close to the center of town right now, and off in the distance where you know the town square to be, you will hear just a bit of slight commotion. Um, it's up to you whether you make the detour there or continue straight on to your quarry. I can go check it out. Uh, let's go check it out. Okay. Okay. You will see that um, the Burgomaster's mansion was situated at one side of the town square, kind of edging up to it. Um, you saw a, where there was once a large um, uh, terrace, or I, I don't remember the exact word, for the, um, uh, for the sun, for the Festival of the Rising Sun. There's a customary platform, and there are some stocks set up on them. And in the stocks, um, sitting there, plastered by um, garbage and uh, rotten vegetables and stuff, is the Valakovich family. The lady, the former burgomaster, and the young son there. There are There is a small crowd around, um, seem to be throwing a, a couple things at them up in the stocks. And a black-robed figure, cross-armed, standing up near them. It also looks like a number of people are coming and going from the house itself. Taking things, uh, it seems, perhaps even getting ready to tear the house almost completely down. The windows seem to be broken. Um, they have The ire of the people has turned heavily upon the... Uh, upon the Valakovich family. And in fact, it looks like there are um, black robed figures sort of gesturing into the house, even encouraging people to take what they want. This is a little aggressive. Come now, Claire. Don't you know? All will be well. Apparently not anymore. Mm. I think this whole place is dire. I mean, you did see this coming. Come. I suppose. Let's not stay in town any longer than we need to. Oh, okay. I'm completely in favor of that. Remember, we do have a mission. It's true. Um, do we? We're meeting up with Rictavio. No, not Rictavio. Uh, Casimir. Casimir. Ah, uh, going into the mountains. Yes. Yep. Hopefully your special armor can keep you warm. No, it yeah. can't. It can look like it can, but it can't. Might have placebo effect. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> placebo you have no idea what I'm talking about, effect. Do you? <laughs> oh my god. All right. So you leave it be. It sounds like. I want to check on your boyfriend. I, I stay on the boyfriend bay. Accusations <laughs> of non-existent relationships aside, I do want to see if I can edge a little closer and get a sense of their welfare. Yeah. Well, okay. Just, just as a friend. As a friend, not as a boyfriend. I'm sorry. No, yeah, of course not. Of course not. Wouldn't. All right. Yeah. DM, as they edge closer, I'm going to find a secluded place and change my armor so that it looks exactly like the black robes that the person is wearing. <laughs> All right, go ahead and make a stealth check. I was going to say you were going to be naked again. <laughs> a diversion! <laughs> that is not so good. An 11. Okay. <laughs> um, Interesting. I did try to go someplace out of sight, like break line of sight with the square. Sure. Um, you, no one will confront you at the moment, though uh, 
when you look around, you kind of think to yourself, I'm not so sure I was invisible there, if that makes sense. Um, you kind of look and you see a couple sight lines you didn't think about quite at the beginning. No one is staring directly at you, but you can't be quite comfortable that you did this without any eyewitnesses. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm going to go for it anyway. Okay. But am I confident that the person at the stockade didn't see me? Yes. Okay. Then I will slowly walk out while they're edging closer, and I can sure. wait to do my thing until later. All right. Uh, Claire, how close are you getting? Um, how... How far out does the cluster of people who are throwing things at them go? Um, that's maybe like 30 feet or so. Okay. Um, um, I would like to go right up to the edge of that. Okay. I'll go with her. You will look, it seems that the, um, uh, you see that the Burgomaster, the former Burgomaster, and um, his wife are kind of twitching a bit as things impact, though their reactions seem um, a bit slowed. Um, perhaps just from being up for far too long. Um, the young man seems to be hanging limp. Like, like emotionally defeated limp or like unconscious limp um go ahead and make a perception check oh boy uh 13 13 um he's certainly not moving i got a 20 um you um Elimus, i was um, with her yeah i said i'll go okay. with her yeah, you, Claire, you look up and you think, I can't, I don't know, is it, uh, is, he, is he just, like, defeated there? And Elimus, you come up next to her, look over her, uh, look beside her, and you see, you can't see breathing. Mm, I cannot see breathing, Claire. Fucking fuck shit. And a couple of these people have dispersed now. It seems like this was going on for a bit. It's only a, maybe two dozen people here. It's I'm... not like the entire town has gathered to do this. Sure. Um, um, yeah, I'll walk forward with her. Let's go yeah, I'm, I'm going up towards the thing. Okay. Stocks. All right, go ahead. We can march yeah. up and... Um, you the uh robed figure there seems to be a um eyes just simply looking at you uh as you approach you hear just a voice say and what do you think you're doing i'm going to check on the health of the people that have been strapped up here and subjected to, be, to having things thrown at them i understand they're not necessarily well liked but that doesn't mean that they get to die up here well I'm afraid that by order of Lady Vakta, they are to be shown in the stocks for 24 hours. Speaking as someone who also does work for Lady Vakta, I don't intend to remove them necessarily. I intend to check on their medical and physical well being. By all means. Any. Thank you. And a uh, uh, hand gestures in their direction. Marie mm. will approach that guy um, and will try and just strike up just small talk with him um, facing away in case they did want to do anything over there. She just kind of wants to get him looking potentially slightly away from the stocks, if possible. Okay, um, make a persuasion check to try and hold his attention. Okay. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure you uh, distract just by habit. Like, oh, my friends are doing something. I better distract everyone else. <laughs> what, they might want to steal something. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't know. They might They might want to steal Ooh, something. Nice. Uh, 26. <laughs> yeah, he is. Um, what are you? Uh, what is the type of conversation or what, what are you trying to engage him with in particular? 
Um, she, so he looks kind of like he's uh, a man of justice, law enforcer maybe, I'm not sure. Um, and she's kind of just asking him stories about maybe the craziest stuff he's seen, uh, punishments, and maybe even using a marionette to kind of act them out as he describes them as sort of like an extra bit of like visual distraction. Indeed. Um, he will um, start describing um, how Lady Vachter has a much better vision for the city and is much more powerful personality. And you having seen Lady Vachter are able to sort of use your bardic magics to sort of make it the puppet almost recline like you saw her on the um, on the couch. And he's like, oh yes, that's it, that's perfect. You know exactly what she's like. And um, you you get a sense that he is this he is doing his job, so he probably won't be distracted forever, but for the moment he is engaged with you. Uh, while the rest of you look. Jeswaldo, by this time, you've about made it to the um, stockade. Lady Vachter has a idea that a lesson learned while unconscious is not necessarily one learned at all. The boy is to be removed and made comfortable until he can recover to the point of being put in the stockade again. Okay, go ahead and make a persuasion check. Deception check, in fact. Um, it's the same rule. Yikes! Ow. 16. <laughs> when just Waldo, I thought maybe I went not that bad. Maybe. It's not that bad. Could be worse. Yeah. The plus could've nine could have been much better. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Should beat his passive, but it is a strange thing to um Yeah, there's not really there's not really a a, a thing to rule against. You have, you just have to determine how difficult this would be. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I uh that's what I was doing. I was just checking his um what his sort of passive would have been. Yeah, he you see the um covered head turn in your direction for a bit and then say very well take him as you see fit I'll remove him from the stocks uh, quickly do a check quick check on the other two yeah. and then yeah I want to I want to see whether he's like any life signs here okay uh, make a medicine check not my forte <sighs> Oh, that hurt. So close to that being hurt. 20. Oh, oh, someone help me. <laughs> I got 13. Uh, and he will turn to um, to you, the figure, and look at it. Two of them are with you, then. I have never seen them before. I have been stationed. Well, stationed is not really the right word, but I have been observing the camp. All right, then you two, away from the boy. Is he alive? I got a 13 medicine. Um, perhaps um, the faintest bit of breath. Um, he is he alive? He, is he alive? He doesn't appear to be breathing. It's just alive, barely. Well, then. I'll let Claire. You see well, suddenly a shudder come, come through the body. And, uh, <coughs> Not my, the moment too soon. My... Uh, <laughs> you can hear him sobbing, just barely. They... My, they... Uh, I come over, shut up, and kick him. Uh, and I undo whatever is holding him. Step back. And okay. I pick him up and says, "Yes, a night of rest will probably make this much more entertaining tomorrow." I look at his uh, parents. What about them? Are they alive? They are. Mm -hmm. You see that uh, he gives them a firm order to stay put as he, um, when he unlocks the stockade, um, to remove the boy. So his parents are in stockades as well, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, they're all in stocks. And you will hear uh, the young boy. 
Victor. <laughs> I, they took uh, my, uh, my book. <laughs> they took it from me. Yes, yes, yes. Shut up. And I <laughs> move him roughly down the steps and begin moving in the direction of the Wachter house, not sparing any look for the party at all. Got it. Um, before we descend from the stockades, I want to look over at um, the, I guess, former burgomaster and just look him in the eye and say, you may already know this, but you're a fucking piece of work, just for the record, and walk away. Mm -hmm. He looks up at you just a bit, eyes mostly glazed over. And... <gasps> You should have hit him with the uh, the, the just name of the again. lady, uh, the cousin. Mm. <laughs> What's her name again? Lady Fidito of Sensor Regards. No. Um. <laughs> See, that would be something. And Claire's alignment shifts. <laughs> no. Um, Claire Claire walks down because she didn't hear her uh, shoulder Jezwaldo actually say that. Okay. Um, Alima says it, though. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right we'll head off i guess yeah follow sort of i guess not not immediately following jeswaldo but sort of going off in a slightly different direction so it doesn't seem like we're associated and then try to catch up with him did they know it was me out of sight oh do we know it's him by perception that's a great question oh yeah well, maybe you would have shared your plan but um maybe you because I, I totally was, would have acted that differently. I don't know that there was time. That. All right, well, well, then, we'll, they, then we'll say they, that you they did. They would have okay. recognized your voice. I would have seen you change. Probably. Yep. Uh, my passage yeah, was 17. So. Yeah. Is the Vachter house on the same general area as the church? It is not in... So it's on the opposite side of... Um, from the church. The opposite mm. side of town. Shit. It is uh, not on the main square, however. Okay. I pick this kid up and I throw him over my shoulder. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I see a likely dark alley, I'm going to dart down it. Um, hopefully it's one that I feel like, okay, if they're going to walk towards the Vokter house, they're going to have to pass by here. Okay. I walk up beside Claire with my hood Hood up. I say, yep. I, I feel maybe I, we've replaced one evil with another. I couldn't agree with you more. I think if anything else, the priest that we met should probably be in power. Yeah, we need to go check in with him. See what's become of this place. And make sure that well, we did send the bones back, right? Someone took the bones back yeah. to the church. That's what so, the other group did when they right. first went to the church. So mm -hmm. in that case, we should check in at least to see that the effect that the bones are supposed to have indeed have been restored to the church. But I... You could go the opposite way. Where the uh, hell did they no, go? No, 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 no. <laughs> no we'll, we'll, we'll try to find Jeswaldo first. Okay. Jeswaldo, you have... Sorry, go on. Ducked into an alley. Um, the rest of you, as you are following... Okay, this is interesting. Um, go ahead and roll uh, whoever wants to make a perception check for the group. Oh, I miss. Or sorry. <laughs> my perception is not great. My passive Fine, is great. So, oh, right. Uh, so sorry should roll this then. Or Maris, someone with wisdom. Yeah, um, not me. Keep an eye out. Um, I'm fucking blind. <laughs> and just, Waldo, you can roll one as well to try and... Good, right. Yes, I will definitely. That'd be a 27. Ooh. Ooh. Hell yeah. And I am going to beat that with a... Oh! 21. Oh, damn! You guys miss each other by a single street, though. Um, 
as you are walking, Saurev suddenly just stops and turns his head to the right. There. And, and, and down an alley and across even another street, you see just barely silhouetted in, um, in lantern light is a hooded figure. You would have no way of telling it's him, but um, Saurev, you can... You can smell that it's the the fabric doesn't match it from here. It's just kind of <laughs> great yeah. warrior is that way. And I just start walking that way. I'll follow. Yeah, follow. You're able to find each other with those fantastic rolls. All right. Well, I would like to use. Let's do five points of lay on hands for. Wait, 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 wait. I'm using five points of lay on hands. All right, fine. On Victor Velakovich. <laughs> I mean, he's much easier to deal with this way. I don't think he's going to be any issue to deal with. I hope you're right. Wait, just to clarify, are we helping this man or are we killing him? When you're We're saying dealing with him. him, I'm very lost. Okay, just wanted to be sure. These are good questions to ask. Maybe both. You look, um, his eyes sort of roll open and look directly up at you, Claire. It's, it's you. You, yeah. you rescued me? With help, I gesture to the the group around me. It was mostly Claire. Hello, Mr. Claire. They 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 took they took my book. I know, I know. They took my It's okay. We will reacquire it. I'll never get out of this place. <laughs> Victor, do you remember what we talked about? That Getting out of here is a lot more complicated than a teleportation spell. It's going to take a lot more time. All right? And it's... You're not just going to poof out of here. All right? But do you think that... So... Um... So do you, do you think that, um... The, the, the maid that I... That I used the circle on, do you think she, she got out? I think or... she got stuck somewhere. Stuck somewhere. Yeah, somewhere that you don't want to get stuck either. Okay. So, so the dust was just like byproduct. Yeah. You need to forget this okay. book. No, I need it. It's you have had no training. It's it the only thing years, that makes me different. Years huh? to master these spells. Alimus. Even I, with my power, cannot do it. You don't look that powerful. I th the point that I'm trying to make is that we should probably get you out of here. We should probably get you somewhere safe. And I think you should wait to try any more teleportation, okay? We're working really, really hard to fix the problem. And it's going to be safe if you can just hang out for a, until we can get it done, okay? Where are you taking me? We're going to first go to the church, okay? The church is probably the safest place in town right now. Do we know hmm. that? I'm fairly confident because of the nature of the bones and the protection that was at the other church. Is that accurate, Maris? If the church is the safest place in town. Um, you were you would have been there and seen the uh, priest uh, ritually, uh, you know, performing rituals around the church over the bones, um, and you would know, um, just by your profession, that this mm -hmm. feels like hallowed ground. That the church did feel like hallowed ground. Yes. Well, I relay that back to my compatriots that. It seemed like the safest. Uh, go ahead and make a, a religion check as well. Okay, it's not going to stop just, some uh, common uh, fug. Uh, sorry, go on. It's not going to stop some common fug. I'm going to pat Alimus' head and just say, don't, don't listen to what he says. You're very powerful. Oh, I, uh, I know I'm very powerful. 
24 deception. Yeah. <laughs> Self deception? <That's> or... oh. <laughs> the, the best deception of all. <laughs> um, he will kind of. Well, that's more towards him. Yeah. My that you're, you are very powerful. Yeah, 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 yeah. My religion check yielded a 12. Um, you. Yeah, so you know that you know hallowed ground is good against certain things, but why why that would be helpful in this situation? I don't know. Probably not. Son, Sean, you put your clear guy. <laughs> well, I was about to say something. Never mind. No, do it. <laughs> well, we have to apologize everybody you know, it's extremely hot everywhere so everyone's got fans on so yeah, if you can't yeah, hear people's fans we the, do apologize. the air conditioning the air conditioning yeah. where i live is broken so i've got fans i actually have to fan on my computer or it will overheat yeah that's all good mate <laughs> um so do you think um maybe the best plan is to hide him for the time being yeah i'm right here yes you are <laughs> And we think that the church would be the safest place to hide him. I mean, it's the one place where I'm confident that the. I mean, I don't think the priest is going to assent to people having at him. No, I would agree with that. Just as I mean, far as the disposition. Option, you know? I mean, either that, well, Blue Water Inn, maybe. They're tentative allies. We just don't know too much. What is your plan, Victor? You powerful mage, you. I was trying to learn a spell to escape, but I can, um, I can hide kind of pretty well. I do want to see. Sure. He begins to radio silence. He begins to, um, (laughs) uh, twist his fingers in a combination. And draw some arcane symbols in the air, whispering blow a few himself words. Up. Can I, do I and, understand what they are? Um, what level are you guys right now? I forgot. We're six. Level six. six. Yeah. Um, you can make an Arcana check as a reaction. Fifteen. You do not know what spell this is, and he whoop, seems to vanish from in front of you. Victor. That was very impressive. Now, maybe make your presence known. Uh, how old is he? He's he's like in his twenties. He's sort of like an indeterminate age. And uh, <laughs> ageless uh, is the term. Elimus, you feel um, a what a jab into your ribs seems to be a sickly, but nonetheless a fist wow. hits you in the side. See? I can hit you and I'm still invisible. I'm gonna swat at him if I'm hitting my brother. Okay, (laughs) you can go ahead and make make an unarmed attack at disadvantage. How does one do that? Oh boy. I don't actually know how to do that. I've never done it. I'm on. on. Oh, unarmed strike. Here we go. Can I just reactively also. Because he had, he has assaulted my party member, um, just trying oh to bite. Gosh. He's not punched me or anything. <laughs> no, he hasn't even done <laughs> damage. Him. He like he like poked. We're him gonna kill wrist. this guy. He's going down. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, none of you even see it. Yeah, I just want to be reflectively hear my brother say "ow" and then just like backhand yeah. whatever it was that hit him. That's like, kind of what just... you hear. Yeah. And sorry if you can make that attack at disadvantage if you would like. I, I got a nine. Oh She's gosh. basically she hears an owl and just swats at the air by her okay, brother. Okay, everyone, yeah. calm down, please. What the hell are you guys <laughs> doing? <laughs> I didn't even go out. It didn't hurt me. <laughs> are you all right, Alimus? I'm fine. Victor, say something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something I have to improved. admit that's a pretty mm-hmm. good trick. It's an invisibility it trick, but trick. an improved one. I'm interested in learning yeah. that. I would be able to show you. But they took my back! Which we're definitely going to get back for you, okay? But we has your book. I look to Claire. (laughs) Do you promise, Claire? Do you promise? We are going to get the book back. (laughs) Claire! We are getting the book back. You're getting it for me? We're getting it back. Oh, you're getting it back for him? 
But right now... I like your smile. <laughs> he does have a great smile, but you're right. Well, with this particular trick, you are quite adept And he at drops being. invisibility, and you see him just standing, like, right in front of you, Clara. <laughs> like, his face <laughs> is just right here. <laughs> you are quite going to be just fine, I think. Um, you just need a place where no one would think to look for you. I actually, having sort of reconsidered my my first idea, I actually think maybe seeing whether Danica might have a thought on where we can hide it might be a good idea. Blue water in. Lady with the the hair mm, no. thing. Not while that idiot drunk's there. <clears throat> Maybe we could put him in the attic of the coffin maker's house. Um, okay. We need to figure out what our what our like order of plans here, though, because we're still lugging around all this stuff for what's her face. So we need to offload that, but also hide him. Let's split the party. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. I have dibs on Maris. <laughs> Very. Murray, Murray, uh, babysits Irina and Victor while the, the party do things. Well, actually, I, so <laughs> if people are amenable to it, I can offload my the rest of what's in my pack to someone else. Maris and I can take Victor to Blue Water Inn while you guys hit up Vachter. But the Velaki's a... I don't think it's wise to. Well, we'd ha we we would have Stani, the um, we would have we would have Sarif. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What if Astani's there? Who Who works? Astani's we'll, we there. won't drag him in front. We'll make sure that we do it intelligently. Like we can. The it, well, so the entrance in the Blue Water Inn, if I recall correctly, there's the front entrance into the bar, but then there's also the side entrance to go up to the rooms. Correct. Right. So, I can go in and chat with Danica. Maris can make sure Victor doesn't do anything stupid. You can just make him go invisible, right? Like, just have him go invisible again. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Because I wasn't thinking about... do it for about a minute. No, that's fair. We'll, we'll only utilize it if absolutely necessary. Okay. And then you'll give me my book back. Yeah. Yep. Thanks. I could be. I'm gonna help you guys if I can get my book back. I will. I can. I'm. I'm powerful. Seems like you know a handy trick or two. Okay. I guess I'm coming with you. Yep. Yeah. Um. So. I like how all the all the girls are like, "Yep, yep, you're coming with us," and all the guys are like, mm. <laughs> "I, I don't." Marie has just kind of like sat there like the last picked in a dodgeball game. <laughs> like, where am I going? <laughs> You're not last picked. We love you. Thank you. Well, um, good Marie luck, I suppose. Kind of, who, who, who am I going with? Uh, the Vachter crew, I think. Okay, cool. You should you know, have someone there who is at, at least one person who is persuasive in nature. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Okay, so we'll see you later. We're gonna... Bye! <laughs> when you say persuasive in nature, are you speaking about Sarif? I am very good uh, at persuading nature, yes. That, yes, that, okay, clearly that is what they were talking about. Uh, of, course, of course, of course, of course. As a side note, when I was looking at, <laughs> I was looking at perhaps other tokens to use <laughs> for Victor just to give him a little more uh, character and everything. Yes, 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 <laughs> it's, yes. It's just amazing. When you when I was looking him up, the images that came up were of Adam Driver for some reason. <laughs> what? What? Wait, that changes everything. That changes the story <laughs> know, significantly. Right? That changes everything. Like, okay. You can't have him, Claire. Maris is all about it now. <laughs> uh-uh, you wanted the gravedigger. 
Ferris wants anybody who's attractive. He doesn't look like Adam Driver, I promise. No, that's you know, can we have Jason Momoa, please? <laughs> that's a lot. Can we take requests? Can it be Jason Momoa? Uh, I'm really oh, curious boy. as to how that voice could have come out of Jason Momoa. Dude, not for him, not for him, not for Victor. I want at my own Jason. <laughs> I think one of these guys right. at the bar there. Um... Yeah, there you go. So, wh you. so what is your plan? I'm hearing half plans. What What are you guys, what is your course of action? I've got no idea. I just, I, what I'm getting at the moment is the girls are trying to dump the boys. Um, I'm with you, I brother. I gave the rest of the cash that I was that I had in my pack I'm offloading that to someone else who's going to Vachter so the, we, there's there's a total of 4,000 gold that needs to be delivered to Vachter I don't think we should go there separately in case there's a fight well yeah. fine then you guys can come with me to Blue yeah. Water but think, that's what I'm doing first I think we should all stick together all right we'll then we're going to back water. to Blue Water in I a do not want to somewhat leave the blessed healer ever again <laughs> The um, does not want to split the party. Um, the in a somewhat roundabout fashion, so that we don't hopefully run into um, fancy black, fancy pants, black robes people. Okay. I so how? I what do you have any? Dress to make ahead. me look more feminine and womanly. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Well, I think um, I don't think it was a. I think it was just a confusion about who was going with who, not who was. <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, this is this is a convenient disguise. I think. Um, I could. Uh, I could walk out, and I assume that nobody would bother us. May bother. Hmm. You can only um, be invisible for a minute. Actually, so in my inventory, I have a mundane black cultist robe. Which we can put on Victor. If he is willing. Just to cover him up a little bit and put uh, something over his mm. face so he's not necessarily recognizable. Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like a wizard's robe. Like a like a dark one. You, hey, you hey did you you saw my cats, right? My yeah. my necro cats. Yeah. They're, They're super cool. cool. Yeah. Yep. Thanks. Uh come on, like we're gonna them. go find you a good place to hide. Okay. I'll put on the black robe. Great. I'm going to talk like this when I have it on, too. Mm. You just started him down a bad path in life. <laughs> it wasn't great before, and now it's... <laughs> oh, good. I'm, I make quite the impression on the Whatever huge. you say, Elena, uh, Claire, where should we go? What should we do? I'm... Well, like I said, I would like to take a roundabout route back to the Blue Water Inn. Not okay. the same way we came. Sir, you guys know the city well enough that you can do that, sticking away from well, the main passages. I will be the scout. I will go out in this costume and make sure that nobody is watching as we make our way. You go first, mm -hmm. you say? Yes. Okay. Scouting ahead. You will be pretty much unharassed making it to the Blue Water Inn. Though, when you get... To the front, leaning on the doorpost, you see a somewhat familiar figure. And I have changed his token just a bit, just so you know. Also wearing a hood, he looks up to you, Waldo, and nods. You seem to recognize this is Ernst Lenark. The... Who is that again? <laughs> he's he's Vokter's, uh manservant. Oh right, the guy that Mari got it. Yes, accosted. <laughs> so I sort of take up a position on the other side of the gate, leaning. Okay. Have you seen the uh, party? I'm sure they'll be around soon. I got word they were in town already, but none of them have come to check in yet. Well, the day is pretty young yet, don't you think? 
Perhaps you should go round up a few guards and well, search for them. I don't know that they'd respect me as much as they would respect you. I could wait here for the party. They're just to report in, right? Uh, it, uh, I'm sorry. Are you telling me what to do now? No, just making conversation. If we've got a problem needs to be fixed, I think you'd be better at it. If all you need is for someone to watch the Blue Otter, I can do that. I was just waiting here for him. You know what? <sighs> I think you should go try and find him. Hmm. Okay. Um. So which are the guards I should talk to? I mean, this is an important job, right? I want to make sure I, I don't mess it up. I don't know. Which just are the go good guards? Just go grab guards? any of them. Well, I mean, we can't grab the ones... we guards now. Oh, um, that's not necessarily what I heard. I heard that they're her guards until they get word that there's... Unless they get word that there's no money. Which I'm sure is coming. But... Now, what exactly have you heard... Well, wow. just whispers. Nothing serious. No talk of, oh, we need to take her out. Just like they took out the Burgermaster. But they, uh, they're they wondering when they're going to get paid again. People got to eat. Row down your hood. That plan... Her plan. How do you know it? Um, Who are you? I am... The land. <sighs> I am ancient. Go ahead and make a deception check. Come on. Oh, yeah! 29. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those moments, you know, when d d does something stupid because someone rolls a natural 20. Yeah. <laughs> Ride the tiger. <laughs> um, he flinches a bit and steps back and says, Oh. Um, I better go have a look for them then, uh, uh, my lord. And he turns around and begins to sprint away from the Blue Water Inn. <laughs> what the fuck, just Waldo? Fly <laughs> big or go wide all. That's right. <laughs> Sweet bastard. I love Fire. it. <laughs> so just Waldo sitting there is like, what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> it's inappropriate. And I make a motion for the group to come. Oh my god, that was so good. Okay. What was all that about? Should we hear what you said? Yeah, what just yes. happened there? What happened? Um, oh, nothing important. But um, we should probably get uh, over to the Vakters as quickly as possible. Why is he waiting here? Okay. Uh, he was waiting for us. Who is oh. the land? Who is the ancient land? Did, did we hear that? What he said? Uh, you would have certainly been in his eyesight had you been close enough to hear it, so. No, I'll call three oh, I forget what I said. Um, you probably just see uh, a terrified robed figure running away from um, from someone standing near the inn in black. And actually, that's probably what you, you guys, you know, encounter, and that's exactly what you see. You see a robed figure running away Dirty, more tattered robes, leather armor beneath, and then you see a black hooded 
uh, figure standing there in the shadows that beckons you closer to the inn. Great. Well, let's go. <laughs> okay. You know, trusting as always, you guys. <laughs> um, what could possibly go wrong? Yeah. It's fine. I just walk into doors that eat me. That's my track record. Um, and I'll so just keep a, keep a lookout. Yeah. One day we're um, gonna think it's just Waldo, and it's not, and it's gonna be horrifying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we're just gonna wait for that curveball, Peter. Well, yeah. um, so I'll go inside first, take a peek around. Are the two huntsmen still there, and is Luvash still there? Uh, Luvash is. The huntsmen seem to have gone. Okay. Um, I would like to approach, um, leaving Victor outside with whoever else is outside, and see um, if Danica's around. <coughs> I mean, right over here. <laughs> okay. Um, you will not see Danica, but you will see um, her husband. Um, I'm trying to remember his name. This is embarrassing. Um, it is Urwin. Um, I'll at the bar. Um, greet him and say, um, I spoke to your wife recently. Um, we seem to discover that we perhaps had some alignment of interests. I was wondering whether we might be able to call upon you for some assistance. Is the Vistani listening in? Uh, make an insight check. He's in his cups, but it's hard to hard to tell at first glance. Four. <laughs> um. You do not. It's hard to tell. He's just sitting there, um, speaking to the uh, to the. There's a dwarf and a uh, half elf with him in leather armor as well. Seem to be uh, other. Um, not huntsmen necessarily, but Vistani scouts and the like uh, are enjoying I... a big piece, a big roasted piece of some type of uh, uh, game. I, I'm keeping my voice generally quiet and trying to speak in generalities so as to not let on okay. things to outsiders. Got it. Um... And you, he will respond. Um, well, yes, I'm told you. No. Uh, would you? Come back to the kitchen for a second. Sure. Danica, please tend the bar for me. And he will walk into the back area. And I'm going to go just put us over on the actual map here of the Blue Water Inn so you guys can oh, cool. kind of figure out where exactly you are. So the kitchen, can you guys see right now back mm -hmm. where we are, is back in this area here. Danica goes to the bar, and Urwen beckons you back and leans against the wall. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm told that you're to be trusted. Now, um, <clears throat> what is it exactly we can do for you? We're hoping to hide um, Victor Velokovich from harm from the townsfolk. The Burgomaster's son. I understand that the Burgomaster has been a blight on this town and that he has caused a great harm to a great number of people. His son is innocent of that. In fact, his son seems very abused. And I 
was not comfortable with leaving his fate to whatever the crowds come up with. Um, he has put his trust in us and may even be of assistance to us in the future. I'm wondering whether there's somewhere here where you might be able to hide him for a little while while we finish our business in town so that we don't have to worry about him while we take care of that. And then when we move on to um, the next town, we will take him with us. I just, I couldn't think of a safer place. There's a loft upstairs. Um, behind the roofing, no windows. But I am to understand that the boy might have some abilities, might mm -hmm. be studied. Those flashes from the attic of the Pergo Masters. He possesses some manner of arcane knowledge. Is he dangerous? Um, not, sort of. Um, he doesn't mean harm. It seems that the danger is more in his own ignorance, but he also doesn't have access to his spell book right now, so he can't do anything. Is that intentional? Uh, uh, um, deception or? No, I feel like I'm speaking okay. fairly honestly. <laughs> right. Got it. He, um, Make a persuasion check. Okay. Uh, 15. Okay. He will nod and say, well, if he's incapable of doing these things, then we can harbor him for some time. Will he be cooperative? Yes, he'll be cooperative, and any expense as far as food for him, and if you feel that you need... You've already seen to that. Right. <laughs> yes. Uh, forgot about Jeswaldo's earlier generosity. Sorry about that, by the way. Pay it no mind. Um, Though have him pay some mind. I try. <laughs> A lot. Um, so where where can we bring him? Is it via the same um, entrance as the rest of the rooms? No, it's um, it's upstairs near our room as well. Okay. You know, the one room at the end of the hall. The single room, yes. You can, um, if you actually scroll up, you can see it. There's a, there's the one that right. uh, remember Rictavio was staying in for some time. Yes, I remember that. Um, there are two more doors, and he will tell you that there. Mm -hmm. That's his and his wife's bedroom and the boys' bedroom. There's a um, pull down ladder hidden in the ceiling in both of them. Okay. In the corner, he'll describe where they are. Okay. And that you can um, stash them up there. There's only hay for the moment up there, mm -hmm. but. It's better than nothing. That's true. Okay. Um, in that case, I will thank him profusely and then return to the group and ask whether um, Mari might be able to, um, just as a precaution, distract <laughs> Lubash <laughs> um, so that we can uh, get Victor up without sort of making without him noticing. Okay. Victor is just sitting there twiddling his thumbs right now. He has a, um, seems to have been able to keep in his um, possession a small crystal which he is kind of fondling at the moment. Okay. And turning it over in his hands. Um, but he is doing that at the moment and just kind of staring down at the table uh, very nervously as you, what you would imagine. So uh, just a quick question. Is he mm -hmm. with Claire in this room or is he with us? He's with you out in the um Okay. In the, the main area of the tavern. 
she, I mean, Marie would probably try and, um, seeing his nerves, would probably begin to sort of almost do something with her puppets, distract him, noticing the crystal. Mm -hmm. Um, what you, uh, what you got there? Looks really pretty. Mm. Nothing, nothing. Um, it's his focus. It's mine. I yeah, look, it's my focus. I look at him and I'm saying, if you get to stay here quite really quietly, no magic. Or you'll die. You understand? They will kill you. Make a persuasion check. Persuasion or deception? Oh, both Can I attempt to aid him? Um, 16. By say, saying, um, you know, I think I think that's probably a wise choice. You can roll again, Alima, see if we get a better. Nope. Oh, 16. What a persuasive group tonight. But 16, though, he nods. I mean, it's you, no you 29, but. Slip the focus deep into his pocket, and we'll say, okay. Okay, I don't want them to take this too. No. So where am I going? Well, I'll perhaps at this point come back out. I'll wait for Claire to find out. Okay. This conversation, you know, subsides and you see Claire emerge. Hello. Again, you hear the drunken um, what Lufash say. <laughs> Look out there. Look out there. Uh, uh, Danica. He's pulling other women into the back. <laughs> that husband of yours. You know, her. Okay. Kind of goes back to his wine. I don't understand why people keep thinking I would be interested. Um, Victor. Um. We're going to take you upstairs, okay? Take, Stay real quietly. Take him outside first. Uh, no, it seems that the entrance is via this stairwell rather than this stairwell. Take him outside and then have him cast that spell again of his. Oh, can you do invisibility again today? Okay. Let's... You want to be invisible? Outside. Yeah, let's let's uh, take a step outside, okay, Victor? Okay. You want to you want to be invisible? Sure, I've never done okay. that before. So I'll say cool. yes. Um. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do that. All right. So um, we'll walk outside. Remember the you. dust, Claire. Remember I the know dust. There. <laughs> so he's casting that as a fifth level spell. Okay. Okay. And he will, uh, as you guys get outside, he'll kind of look around. Okay. Um. Uh, right. And he uh, begins to, um, again, make the same arcane gestures and will reach out and very gently touch your arm. And you will uh, look to where he's touched very briefly, kind of recoil from his clammy hand. And then you look down and you're like, you can't see yourself. And I can't see him either. <laughs> no, he's still there. Oh, just... I thought he was going to cast it on himself too. <laughs> Can you do it on yourself? Is what I meant. Oh, you! I thought you wanted to be invisible. I thought that it was a two situation. I thought you were going to make yourself invisible and be invisible. You don't like being invisible. No, I like it. It's just I would like you to be invisible too. It's so much I more fun with two. Can't, I don't think I can <laughs> do that. Okay, this has gotten complicated. Oh my god! No. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, okay, okay. I'll bring you back, and you suddenly, whoop, you pop your your vision of yourself pops back in, and you suddenly are okay. no longer invisible. Um, that's what you. I asked though if you wanted to be invisible. I, I'll be honest. I got a little confused, and I really thought that you were going to do it to yourself first. I didn't say that, but okay. My bad. Uh, but you can't do it again? No, I can do it again. Okay. One so more today. I'm you first. Tired, though. Burn those fifth level spell okay. slots. Right. And he will repeat Wolf. the gestures and become invisible. Okay. I'm going to say um, 
follow me closely. We're going to go back in size and up some stairs, okay? Okay. All right, so I'll go back in and lead him in. All right, you can feel that he's got, like, a hand, yeah, like, on the back of your cloak of protection, like you're actually sure. towing him along. Yeah, you that's fine. I feel the resistance <laughs> behind you. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll head up and bring him to the place that was described. Okay. Yeah. Is he a warlock? <laughs> I just realized, like, he might not be a wizard. He maybe doesn't uh, need the book. He's got an arcane focus. If that's so do warlocks. That's why he... does? If he's packed to the tome, he wouldn't need... He doesn't, um, like, understand oh. this shit. This is out of character. Would I have I noticed know. that in his casting? Because his wording would have been different. Um... Not necessarily. The no, com- wouldn't, no. the, you but are gifted yeah, the ability to cast spells, same. but the components are the same. Yeah. Interesting. That's my next character. Fake wizard. Yep. Right. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, Ar- I'll Arcana bring him cleric or pack to the tome more like. <laughs> <laughs> Arcana cleric. I did one time. It was fun. Mm. All right. So you are able to stash him away upstairs. Okay. He is and fearing for his life. Less so I... when it's you closing the door to the attic, but you know. I do my best uh, once I sort of get him settled to, you know, calm him down and assure him that we'll be away for a little while, but we'll be back for him. All right. And you'll bring my book. We will have the book. You keep saying it all weird like that, but. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. That's right. Pin her down, man. Come on. But I know you wouldn't lie to me, so you're my hero after all. the book isn't even a spell book. It's just loads of scribblings of Victor X Claire. Like, it's just that it. It's just that constantly doodles of her smile. <laughs> he needs that book. <laughs> he needs it back. Um, so I'll, I'll move him down there. And actually, after we come down, um, I want to ask um, Alimus a question for you. Mm. Um, so as far as your interest in his spell book, um, are you able to like copy stuff out of there into your own book, yes. or do you need his book like perpetually? I can copy stuff from his book, but it will cost a lot of funds. And I mean, if you need some of my golds in order to be able for him to take his book back, then that's fine because I don't think he's gonna stay sane without it. I agree. So... I share can go to small mage. <laughs> He could always come with us. You're lucky I don't have polymorph. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I would like to get him out of Velaki. I know that sort of doubles he's... the heft of our escort, but he's not safe here. And I don't I don't, I don't want to impose safe anywhere. on <sighs> Well worse here with people out for blood. Or well, I specifically you his bring, blood. I imagine but, you would want to bring a significant other out of Lucky with yourself, so it's understandable. Alright, you have to forgive her because we got it all out of our system. She's she still hasn't <laughs> she hasn't got it. It's 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 gonna be okay, Claire. No, um it's fine, I guess. Um whatever. All right, we've got a lot of just, gold to offload. Yeah, let's just go take so care of the money. I, so just uh, uh, Claire and Elena, the player, go ahead and take inspiration for, first of all, putting up with the endless jokes about your character, Miss Mage, and at the same time making <laughs> the decision to save and take care of the very thing they're making fun of you about, despite <laughs> the fact that they've done that relentlessly. It's a, you deserve inspiration for that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay. So, um, what is your, just so I know, we're heading into a break in a second here, but what is your plan now that you have stashed away the young invalid mage? Well, it sounds like we're going to go deliver some gold. On to Vachter. Unless, is there anything that anybody else wants to do? I, that's probably the most pressing thing. So that we don't have 
Ernst and the rest of uh, Black Roads on our butts. We could always go to the uh, windmill. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Um, it is forbidden. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it sounds like forward. probably the Wachter house um, mm -hmm. after this, but you guys yeah. um, have stashed him away. All is well. But, 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 <laughs> but uh, what if we could change the past? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> right, so we're going to break, are we? Yes. <laughs> we'll head into break. We'll take uh, five, ten minutes here. We'll be right back and see uh, how... Uh, yeah. how else they can affect the city of Velaki here. Yeah. I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone that's followed tonight. We really do appreciate it. Um, you know, growing is is is, um, is key to what we're trying to achieve here. So thank you very much. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in about five, ten minutes. See you in a bit. All right. See you later. All right. Welcome back, everyone. Um, first part of our adventure here, the party discovered that the town of Valaki had been quite shaken up. It seems Lady Wachter has taken complete control with the help of um, a number of black-robed figures that seem to be um, executing her will along with the town guard. They also found the former burgomaster and his wife and their young son locked in the stocks. The party saved the young mage and promptly stashed him upstairs in the Blue Water Inn. Now, they still have a ton of gold, which they technically owe her, or were told, tasked to deliver to her, and also know that Ernst Lenark, her sort of, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Her fixer was out looking for them. Hmm. And, uh, um, fly some very quick thinking and very um, good throat work by uh, or voice work. Throat work is throat in work. low. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. That's uncomfortable. <laughs> Can we rewind? Can yeah, I do sure. We'll, take, we'll, we'll fix that we, one in post. We'll take that but, out. But what Welcome if we back, everyone. Go back in time. Uh, and, and, pick, <laughs> and pick up. No, and pick up. And great voice work on the part of Jeswaldo. <laughs> Convinced him somehow that he was, in fact, um, the Lord Strahd von Sarovich himself uh, sent him running. Uh, amazing stuff. You should watch the VOD if you haven't seen that part. <laughs> Anywho, uh, here we are, uh, and the party, I think, is making their way to the Voxter house. Is that correct? Indeed. Also, uh, DM, I don't want to be pedantic, but I think the correct term is throat work, just for, for the record. <laughs> okay. I knew I was right all along. Fingers, oh. damn it. I mean, I'll take whatever compliments anybody wants to dish out, but that's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> What's the plan? Oh, right. Isn't that, I mean, you're a singer, right? By trade, you're just a highly educated throat, right? Isn't that like what? <laughs> I could have been a singer if I could sing. Uh, um, <laughs> really? But you have a beautiful voice. Well, I could have been a singer if I could sing. That's what I said, yeah. Yeah, well gotta educate your throat um anyway <laughs> could have been an astronaut if i learned to be an astronaut no, no, but you know <laughs> you could have been anything could have been anything my mommy yeah. told i was special anyway right anyway <laughs> what's the plan Buster house are we yes? gonna murder them all as well no what? we're just gonna deliver the money and try to get out without making a fuss oh okay uh, actually, so is Arena with us? She is, but she will express she's like, hmm, maybe this isn't the best. Uh... Yeah, so remember how the first time we went in there and Sariv was like, hey, look at this chick that we need to put somewhere safe. Um, <laughs> um, it, it's fine. Um, <laughs> we love like you. Him. Um, and so Vokter knows about you, Irena. Um, and if we go in there with you, 
and she's like, oh yeah, I was totally going to keep this lady safe for you, so let me have her right now so I can put her someplace safe. Uh, that uh, that sounds like a bad that shindig well to me. me. Yeah. Um, I, I think, Irena, if it's alright with you, I think maybe you need to also stash yourself somewhere safe and we go drop this money off and basically no one talk about her at all and if Vakta brings her up be like ah it's fine it's taken care of let's uh, she died on. never mind let's move or on. yeah a non-issue basically maybe she could be safe at the church especially mm -hmm. if there's some strodness running around then yeah that might be a good idea. Um, I'd be, I'd be happy to go there and, well, lay low at least a bit. It doesn't seem, I mean, we've passed so many of those guards before. It doesn't seem like they're looking for me right now. I'll just mm -hmm. keep my hood up and well, okay. wait there for you. I think we'll right. take you there first. We can walk you over. It's no trouble. Um, okay. but I, I don't know. They're very keen to get that gold. I, I, I think we should do that. I, I will be happy to take her over to the church. Okay, if fine. That is what you want. Just Waldo, you, you can do that. We'll go straight with the gold so that we don't run into any more issues. All right. I will change back into my uh, peacocky finery. Well, no, okay. no, 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 no. You'll be totally recognizable. <laughs> no, that's not a good idea. I will, I will maintain my dark hoodedness. My creepy cultist robes. Got it. And you. So you will, like I said, you'll be able to go to the church. No problem. Make your way over there. Um. The priest is a little irked by your presence, you can tell. Um, he seems very weary at the moment, but he will agree in the meantime to allow her to stay. Um, it seems he was relieved by that particular request and that it he wasn't something He's irked by else. me specifically or me in Is it just robes? you leaving the um, leaving her? Is, that, is the whole party going and bringing her over? I think it was just me and the rest of the, I mean, however you want to, however you want to work. He it. will regard, in that case, I thought it was the party. He will regard you, um, um, politely, but curtly and will say, yes, she's welcome to freely stay here as long as she would like, basically. That's what he says. I am a angel. No, I'm very happy. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect. We'll see you in a, a little while. Okay. And that being said, you make your way back to the sort of sagging, deflated Vachter house. Though, the energy around this building is a bit different. More of the windows are lit. And you see what seem to be a couple townspeople beginning to repair it. Um, there's one window in particular which is being completely uh, replaced and swapped out. Uh, there is also what seems to be a team of carpenters working on the old broken down wagon that was, or carriage really, that was next to the house that said Wachter. Um, it was in complete disrepair. They seem to have taken off the broken wheels, salvaged the good bits and the painted... Um, facing that had the name on it and are completely restoring it and repairing it um guess that's what happens when you are in charge <laughs> gotta look the part indeed well i guess we'll head on in unless anyone stops us <laughs> oh <clears throat> excuse me outside i'm gonna pull you over to the map here you will see Ernst, upgraded Ernst, waiting for you. As I rejoin the group, I think that would be a good time to become a peacock again. 
totally the royal, not the royal, the royal garb of the Marquesa de la Mancia. Ooh. Got it. Um, he will be leaning there again in his typical pose, leaning against the building. It's just, ah, there you are. Been looking for you. Not used to not finding things I'm looking for. You must have been about the town. Yep. Good. Shame our paths didn't cross. Shame. Well, head on in. She's expecting you. I hope you've followed through. Shinky, 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 shinky. I'll head on in. She has some interesting ideas, but I haven't seen her wrong once. And he opens up the door, seems to unlock it with the key, and allow you guys to go inside. We'll open up to the um, uh, entryway, and then the stairs here, as you will remember. And finally, we'll reveal the main sitting room. So we can head back in there. Now there are two figures. One on her right, one on her left. You will see. In these similar black robes. And she is sit seated in her usual spot. Ah. Now there are my adventures. How was your mission frankly it was difficult things are a lot more complicated up there than we were given to understand though and it seems you were not necessarily in possession of that information so i don't fault you and my cousin sadly deceased hmm. your hand or another not 20 years she's Poison. been dead. Hmm. Interesting. It seems that her invitation to the former Burgomaster came only a week or two ago. It seemed there was some manner of uh, forgive me, especially Alimus. I'm going to botch the arcane description here. Um, time shenanigans going on up there. Um, things were sort of out of whack, not lining up. And we sort of briefly ourselves dipped into the past. Hmm. The last time any of them hit there and visited here was 20 years ago when this place was a village. Interesting. But they were all dead anyway. The money was here, though. And we'll plop out, eh, knock over my mic, um, the aforementioned 4,000 gold. Wow. You will see the two robed figures step forward and grab it. We'll take it back and kind of look between each other and nod to her after examining it, Just indicating it seems about right. Very good. Oh, there's one other thing, isn't there? I trust... Well, this is generous. You've compensated yourselves already. We took the liberty of making sure that our services were paid for, but that there would be plenty for the people of Velaki to prosper. A wise decision. No, I do apologize, but... There is one more thing I will require from you. A trade, as it were. One book. And she um, reaches behind her and pulls out what appears to be a spell book. One book for another. Another book? I've been made aware there's something very interesting in your possession. 
And I require it back. That wasn't the deal. Maybe we should require. I am altering the deal. Gold back. <laughs> um. Well, can we have the four thousand gold back if we're negotiating? Hmm. Uh, Lady Vachter, if you would perhaps specify what book you're talking about, because we don't are... get coy with me, girl. You know exactly which book I speak of. I know you have it. Is it I'm gonna be totally honest with you, my lady. I don't know what book you're talking about because we have several interesting books. We are well-read people. We like books. He really loves green books. Does anyone else know what book I'm talking about? You, petulant mage? I look around for another mage. How come now? You as well? So you wish to make a deal with us, yet you insult us. This is not really good for a wise ruler. I feel like we've replaced an evil with another evil. Since you're the one who always goes on about being up front, then be up front. This is Don't gold. mince words. This is it gold is an to pay for more history. thugs. What's that? Is this gold to pay for more thugs? You know, you're hooded. Nothing of the kind. Things will settle very soon, I promise you. But this book that you are in possession of, you stole. I don't, you may not realize it, but it was not yours for the taking. We've not once stolen. We didn't steal any book. Ye, as I said, you may not realize that you stole it, but I'm told you took it from a particular locked wagon on the outside of town. Oh, that book! Hold on. And why would you give that? Why would you need that? I need it. What? I will have it. To give to your lord? Come now. Let's be sensible about this. Um, can I... It's a peace offering. I didn't realize we were at war. But you, I suppose you keep changing the deal very constantly. One must adapt to ensure a balance. Mm. That is a very good advice. I'm beginning to sense that perhaps the book that we have is worth more to you than the book that you have is worth to us. Can I, can I briefly turn to Alimus? I sort of want to just whisper in his ear. Have we learned everything that we can from this book? Can we actually give this up? I don't know if we want to make a fight here. I think that book in the wrong hands would be very bad for us. Lynn, what could you offer to sweeten the deal? I mean, to be perfectly honest, I have no interest in any sort of book. I think you probably understand that. So this book that you're offering the group means nothing to me. What can you offer me? What do you want, Peacock? <sighs> so many things. Well, first... I think I would definitely need to know who is actually in charge here. Because if we're dealing with you, that's one set of variables. But if we're dealing with somebody else, that would be another set. I... I am the new burgomaster of this town. I am in charge. Hmm. And who do you take orders from? I take orders from no one. Insight check. Do we believe her? Go ahead and make an insight check. 
12. Um, if not, she says that with confidence, Alimus. If not orders, then perhaps kind suggestions. You do enjoy mincing words, don't you? So do you. Child, look, I need this book. So do we. And I'm quite... It's important to the future of this town. Yeah, we've heard that one before. What's this goal really going to be used for? I do wish to pay the guards. I'm not lying when I say that the Burgomaster previous bankrupted this town and did insist on festival after festival after festival, paying people to do asinine work for these stupid displays of what? Fake happiness to save the town? No. I will pay the people to build the walls strong again, to hunt the wolves in the forests, to maintain peace within the city. That is what I plan to do with the gold. Yeah, and if but, that does not allow us to prosper... Oh, well, you have the gold now. We've given you the but, gold. I know. Well, yeah, you you asked me what I would do. With it. It. What Where's possible me? reason, what possible need could you have for the diary of Strad von Zarovich? A peace offering. With whom? With Who him. else? Oh. Well, if he what, does it. the safety of Velaki depend on you handing him back his precious diary? Perhaps indirectly. But this is what I require. Wonder what would happen if we cut out the middle man. Uh, excuse me? Well, if she couldn't buy peace with the diary, what's to stop us? From doing the same. Uh, not wanting to go near him with a ten-foot pole right now, but well, listen, I, and I sort of circle everybody up. She's not going to let us leave without giving her the book. So either this is going to be a fight, which is probably not going to be good for anyone in the long term, or we're going to give it to her. My question still stands, Alimus. Have we learned everything that we can from it? Because the book doesn't have any magical or otherwise properties. It's information. We've learned the information. And the only way that they're getting the information or removing the information from us is by killing us. The book is, sim is symbolic at this point. But if he really wants it, then it could be useful in trade for something. All right. I think we'll be right with you. So sorry. I think handing this book over, and if he gets hold of it, I think there's a lot more about this book that we haven't discovered. DM, was the handout that we received from the Tome of Strahd the extent of the useful information in this book? Um, that's like a... It's kind of an I can neither confirm nor deny thing, but Elimus... I would assume has gone over it. So has everyone else yeah. in the initial chat. Just Waldo was has like, not. This is nuts. This is, this is crazy code. Um, the only thing you understood was that last, um, that last page, but um, you know, the, uh, sorry, I was fiddling with sound here. You determined that that last page was the only thing you could read, and Elimus looked, and the number of different characters, languages, etc., that were used to encode the rest of the book. After 
spending a, a, an amount of time with it, some symbols you didn't even recognize. And doing all the research you could, you thought this would be a life's work to try to translate. For a brilliant mage of Candle Keep, it would be a life's work. I think this book is priceless. In the what? long term, yes. Worth our lives? In the short term, have we learned what we need to learn from it? And can we give it up for now? Do I feel that's a possibility, DM? To, to gain more information from it? Yeah, do I feel that like we can gain more in time? Unlikely. Oh, okay. Maris, what do you think? You're awfully quiet. I don't know. I feel like if we've gained the knowledge that we can gain from the book, that it is worth avoiding another fight. You've gone really quiet, Liz. No. Hello? Still really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Turn yourself up a little. My, hello? Hello? We, we can hear you, but you're just a little bit quieter than normal. What the heck? Okay. Figure it out. I'll figure, is this better or worse? It's no different. It's the same. <laughs> oh, great. Good. Ideal. Um, so I'll just hold this to my mouth. Bye. <laughs> Excuse Pop me. Pop singer. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> um, but yes, so my thought would be that if we're trying to avoid a fight and she's going to need us to give her the book, I mean, there's no way we can escape her getting the book without fighting her is there seems like it it's an awfully I, long huddle you guys are having right we're right with you right with you we're just this we're just discussing with yeah no Maris waves <laughs> you hear I, a little click next to the door you came in and you see ernst just lean back against it and raise an eyebrow and how about you Mary? Uh, well, if the guards are wanting payment, um, and, you know, we've just replaced an evil with another evil, then if it's the fight that we're going to have to have eventually, we might as well do it when she hasn't got everything that she needs. So you're saying swishy swish fight and run i'm saying if there's if there's a war that's going to be fought better to fight her when she hasn't got an army on her side than a book that could potentially do her some good i do that's... not care about a book maria is just like filing her nails like i don't mind though i'm good with either really <laughs> we can, i cannot get anything else out of this book fine but we need to make a choice. I am personally in favor of handing it over and not making a scene. What about the book that has been promised for someone else? What do you mean? That spell book that she's holding. Book? Oh, wait, we give her the book and we get it. Ah, right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, I will extract the Tome of Strahd from my pack. I feel that we need to readjust the trade then if you are. That book is priceless and you know that. Can, yeah. Or are you speaking to her, mm -hmm. Alimus? Okay. Yeah. What? You've are seen you us. willing to, to Do you want to take back your share, selfless mage? You've seen us do things. Don't underestimate us. At the very least, this should buy us the spell book, safe passage in and out of Velaki, unmolested by any of your people. That was never in the question. Well, of I'll course. Burn them to cinders well, if they touch me. With you changing deals and such, forgive me if I was a little uncertain. Go on. Anyone else got anything? How about that the boy is allowed to leave? 
Yeah, no one will come searching for him. Him and his family. Let go. His family? Yes. Yeah. And to be 10%, 50% discount <laughs> in that toy shop. <laughs> Fine. That creature... He begged and cried like a four-year-old when we took that book from him. So I'm told. Personally, I think we've done Barovia a favor removing that book from him. It's not his, you know. Whose is it? An ancestor's, I have to imagine. Well, it's ours now. Indeed. His only contribution is a few funny scribbles under the front cover. Looking at uh, you, Claire. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> it's very serious. <laughs> Save other people's... Barovia. Hmm. Other we people's opinions see. of me don't really matter right now. I have one idea, actually. This book is very valuable to you, yes? So the truth, it's... I require the book as promised in the original deal. This book for a mirror that was found on the property. Of Volokovich? I described the mirror, the magical mirror. I haven't seen it. But if you want to loot that mansion, fine. Great. Very well. Some poor peasant somewhere is like... <laughs> they wouldn't know how to activate Why does everybody it? I hate die? <laughs> Can't complain. Um, book for book? And all the other shit that we just listed? Place it on the table. You at the same time. She shrugs and kind of tosses the spell book forward be on really the coffee good table in front of her. I will hand. drop the Tome of Strahd and quickly pick up the spell book and tuck it away. Okay. You actually drop the Tome of Strahd? I do. Okay. This cloaked figure, you can't see his face, but anyway. Steps forward, picks it up, and look, turns back and turns it over a bit, turns to her and nods, and then withdraws his hood. Hmm. And smiles and says, Thank you very much for being so cooperative. You're and welcome. Indeed. Ernst! And the guy next to the door turns and clicks the door again, withdraws the key, steps away from the door. Well, Was that a, like, a letting us out uh -huh. clicking or a locking us in? Okay. He locked in before. You, you okay. saw him lock the door, but he is un seems he's unlocked the door. Okay. Pleasure to see you again, Aragal. Lady Vachter, good evening. And Head do up. I just say uh, my name at the toy store and they'll know? Or is there a written coupon I need to grab? We'll compensate him. That's great. Thank you very much. It has been a pleasure. And it's, been, it's great to see you always. Uh, and she'll very quickly <laughs> head out. <laughs> head out. Yep. Give Ernst a little wink. So we're going to steal it back, right? I don't know. We could totally steal it back. I it might not be that. worth rattling the hornet's nest on that. To be honest, it seems to me like the cloaked figure is the one who wanted the book all along. Maybe we, he leaves at some point and we just see what he has. Well, that's Aragol from the camp. Uh, the Luvash's brother. 
Um, oh, that's the not good. Sneaky guy that um, Jeswaldo had a fit about because he put a knife in his back. Yes. Yeah, I don't. Put I don't like that back, guy. In his back. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, that is you would, that is worrying. Well, and I, I mean the fact it, that I, as we're outside now, because not in earshot of other people. Um, I mean the fact that their allies is worrying. As I said, one evil with another. Well, that was never any doubt. Yeah, just the extent of the evil. We need to get out of here. We do. Um, we should Only collect bad things our, are going to happen. We should collect our charges, meet up with Cass. Actually. Oh, I need to see the book. Yeah, here. Have a look. I'll have a look at the book. And I need um, to go to Jablinski's. <laughs> uh, Jade, these will... You'll be able to immediately discern. These contain the... Um, spells of um, the mage stat block in D and D Beyond, so you can look at any of those. Um, however, I d d go ahead and do check with what the rule. I, I kind of forget what the rules are for copying wizard spells. Some of them you might not be able to understand yet. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be able to understand higher level at the moment. Right, that'd be gibberish so, to me. Um, Yes. Yeah, when, when you say mage stat, what do you mean? What, where do I look for that? Sorry. Like the it's just the, the mage stat block. Um, like so the, you can the, cast the third level like spells, mage correct? As a monster. Yeah. So you have um, the, it has Misty Step Suggestion, uh, Shield, Missile, Detect Magic, Mage Armor, Counter Spell, Fireball, Fly. Okay. So Fly is the only one I don't know then. That's the one that. But you also see four other spells are inscribed in this spell book. Okay. But you just don't quite recognize them yet. Okay. And One of them you is... can probably guess. <laughs> yeah. Quite. This is Victor's book, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. While Alimus is looking through, Marie kind of sneaks up behind him and tries to peer on the front page to see what he, he noted down, like the inscriptions or the, the doodles. Uh, Claire. Well, I missed you, let her. Behind yeah. Mary. <laughs> um, despite his appearance and manner, um, he has, um, written in the front a slight dedication, um, reaffirming that he will, um, redouble his pursuit of the knowledge within this book to try and escape Barovia and take um, uh, the most noble person he has seen in Barovia with him, which is Claire. Um, you will also see he tried to like write a poem about her or something, but it just wasn't good enough. And so he scratched it all out. It's like a limerick. <laughs> yes, 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 um, yes, yes. DM, how obviously translating um, spells to like a scroll mm -hmm. or something. Um, sure. how, much, was how much is it again? Armor. <laughs> to a scroll. Yeah, so if I so for example, I want to learn fly myself. Yeah. yeah. So how much is it again? I, I've never done this on It's I've, like a hundred a hundred gold, gold for pieces like spell per levels? spell per spell level. Per spell level and yeah. an hour of time <laughs> scribing. Okay. But so, I think it might be fifty actually. But um, it says in your wizard stat block. Let me double check. I don't play wizards in other games, so I, know I totally it's don't half know. Half, obviously. Uh, <laughs> well, I was gonna. I was. My suggestion to Claire is we. Our deal with Victor would be he creates the scrolls of the four that I do not understand. Sure, you would still need to make a skill check to cast a higher level with a scroll. But yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm talking about when I can eventually cast them. I can just inscribe. I see what them. you mean. Um, or he can. He, I buy a spare book, for example, when he will copy them into another book. Two hours and fifty gold pieces is what it takes to copy a spell between spell books. Scribing a scroll is a new thing that yeah, so they I'll had want, in so, Xanathar's guide. Yeah. So I'd rather Which, buy a new spell book, mm -hmm. or or pay for he, or he inscribes that into my spell book. Okay. I've got two spell books, so 
obviously I got one at the beginning of uh, the campaign, didn't I? So. So the thing about scribing and spell books is everyone, every mage has their own sort of handwriting associated with their own spells. Right. It is scribed based on your understanding. You can understand another person's. It's almost like a recipe book. Yeah. Everyone has their own way of describing it, doing it. You need to learn the spell and scribe it for yourself to be able to prepare it. He can't write his own spell in your book. Right. So can um, I can I copy it? from his book to my book now and still not know it um no because you you have to be able to yeah, know the thought. spell in order to scribe it into your own book so i'm just um, trying to think of how you, we can however do it, you could you know. have him scribe scrolls for you yeah because he can cat he knows the spell um but a third level spell cast it takes about a week and about 500 gold pieces to scribe a scroll, scroll of a yeah. third level spell um, it's in Xanathar's guide under scribing spell scrolls is okay. where that um, could, is, so. could he could he scribe it into the spare book yeah and then once once we level up enough then he then Elimus can scribe it into his main book because I, I mean obviously I found a, a spell book at the beginning of the campaign so I've just assumed I've got two spell books I, I suppose he could on. make a copy yes yeah that's, that's what yeah. I'm thinking can he copy that those four spells into the other spell book and then I can just yeah learn them when I can learn them I guess he could into his yeah. um, even into yours yeah that would probably work <laughs> oh, okay so that, that, I think that's the deal that we should make with Victor to give him his, his book back that sounds yeah. fine <laughs> that was going around the bush a bit I think Shut yeah up. it was and as we had this like rules discussion um <laughs> Very funny things happened in our Zoom chat. But, uh, oh, do you wish to okay. share your limerick? <laughs> Please do. Well, I, I have written the limerick that that uh, that, that Victor it. wrote. Let's see. You said he scratched out the poem, so he says, it starts really strong. There once was a lady in armor. No vampire could ever harm her. She walks in the light. Her pants are so tight. But then he couldn't find a rhyme, and so he he wrote, "The only rhyme that could go next is farmer," and he scratched it all out, <laughs> petulantly. Oh my god! Oh yeah, something like that. So, the question is, how much gold do we need to buy inks and that for to him? No, I need to write some more limericks. That's what the question is. Okay. <laughs> he would require. 150 gold and three hours, I do believe. For the to, whole lot? To scribe one third level spell. Yeah. But 50 I, I gold know. and one hour per spell level. So it's going to be 200 because I had no third level, so I can I can do that myself. Correct. So he'd need 200 gold and four hours to scribe. And there's four um, others, fourth level spells I don't know, yeah? Yes. Well... You don't exactly know no, exactly. Know. It could be fifth level. It could be anything. Yeah. yeah. Let's just not give him the book. <clears throat> um. He couldn't find it. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, whoops. No. Um, Limus, take the time that you need to describe this the spell that you can understand right now. Okay. Take the time to do that. I if need more gold. I could totally. I could fine. Totally steal that take book gold. back. I could steal it back. Take gold. It's fine. We have plenty of party funds to help you get whatever this stuff says. Um, and I, I don't read this shit. Um, so you do that. We can talk to him. I'm not comfortable with holding the book from him. But if, if we are honest with him and we are continue to maintain good friendship with him he might be willing to and in fact we can make a deal such that when you are able to cast these spells you can get them out of his book he's probably i mean like i said i'm not comfortable leaving in here so i would like to maybe see if we can bring him to the same place where we're going to leave arena um he's going to be with us for a little while your skills might increase during that travel such that you can get a couple more spells out of it. 
before we even leave him someplace. You can't save everybody, Claire. I'm I can damn well try. I'm going to study the book to see who it may be a belong to. Is there like a s initials, a name in there? Hmm. Um. The book is rather old and decrepit. Uh, make an investigation check. I've got a passive of 23, or I can make a roll. It's up to you. Well, that would be like... um. We spend if you wanted to sit down with an hour an hour on yeah. it and do that but um to do it at in this moment and try and determine within a minute or two you'd have yeah. to make a check 12. it's hard to tell um just flipping through different handwritings um mm. quite a few pages with instructional um you know instructions on it. some of them it's, it's what is this but yeah yeah Okay. We're not even going to like stake the place out to see whether or not I can follow this bastard and kill him. I mean, if you really want to do that, I can make you very, very sneaky. Are you giving me permission to do that? I'm saying that I'm not going to stop you. I think it would be a bad idea, as much as I want to burn I agree that place with him. down. <laughs> but I'm not going to stop you. Why, why do you think it would be a bad idea? He stabbed me in the back, you know. He didn't stab you in the back. You still have the mark. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a mole. Fine. Well, I do not question your skills or abilities, just well no. You are quite the warrior. Or the rogue swashbuckler wherever you may be but that man Freedom is dangerous fighter. and we know that the poison he had he's got a part, part to play in this story yet all right well so then uh, what are we doing are we thinking we should probably go down to the town square and make sure that nobody kills the burgermeister and his wife if that is indeed what we are worried about oh well, they've agreed to set them free so let's go set them free Let's They're going to be eaten by wolves. Didn't you just say the Burgomaster's son? No, I said uh, him and his family. Mm -hmm. I said the oh. Burgomaster's son, and then he chimed in with his family. Yeah. Uh, mm, okay. Would we not have been able to make that arrangement? That is an interesting point. However, the outcome is essentially the same, so... They're going to be eaten by wolves. I'm not saying that. <laughs> but you're not not saying that, right? Well, you know. or they're going to set vampire spawn on them. So did we go there, or you guys killed go? all of those? We don't know they that. They, do we go get this smart. mirror? Do we go get this they mirror? Agree. Actually, let's go. <laughs> let's go loot the house. <laughs> they they the agreed. House. Free them, but not to not hurt them. That's the issue. Mm. They Let's... could be freeing them from their lives, you know what I mean? <laughs> you would do very well in a bandit group. Well, we go to the house then. Yeah, sure, okay. let's go to the house. Don't ever do it, it's awful, but you do very well. You do remember this is a full length mirror, too. Mm hmm. And it's still there, yeah? It is tipped over and dragged halfway across the room, but the guards will clear the way. And you guys do pass by the stocks on the way, too. You can't help but do it. It's in the main square. If you want to stop by there at all. Sarif. I need this mirror carrying. I, I can do that. Let's go set them Burgermeister free. Is there anything else of a uh, note or value in the house that might be worth our time taking? Um, you, you can spend some time 
I'll Searching do it to detect magic as well. We can search around, yeah. Sure. Okay. Let's let's take a little bit of time to just walk through. Should so I you guys big or big big? Just wait. Just hold off a minute, sorry. Maybe just big. <laughs> find something to big, eat. Big. <laughs> just regular big. <laughs> I'm gonna double check. You guys will have run of the house and be able to check. Okay. Um. Okay. Besides the mirror, you, um, Elimus, detect up in the attic the, um, a bit of magic from what seems to be a maybe slightly botched, half completed teleportation circle. Okay. You also detect magic, though, on the door leading in. So Claire will tell you that that's what it was, but mm -hmm. on the door itself, there is evocation magic. What, residue or something's been cast on it recently? Uh, like there's a, a spell on the door, which is now closed to you. I was it I was it closed when I went in? It wasn't. You knocked and oh. he opened it for you. There's a trap on this door. Good thing I just didn't just go through it the first time. <laughs> hmm. Just wilder. Hmm? There's a trap on this door. A magical oh, trap. Oh, I'll take care of it. A step back. Um, thieves Ooh. tools. I will make the acrobatics roll, as usual. I have rolled a 26. Okay. You find a, um, a complicated lock that you're able to pick and open up. Um, you don't sure what he meant about the trap, but the door the seems door open. <laughs> you, okay. <laughs> um, all right. I need you to make a. Uh, I just wanted to remind you that we stepped back. Dexterity. Yeah, saving yeah. Throw. The rest of us are out of the way. I rolled an eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Excellent. So we work on that door, by the way. Um, the creaking door. It's good. Yes. Lightning arcs out from a Yeet. small skull on the knocker towards you. And oh, where is this? Um, you're able to jump out of the way, but it still catches you just a bit. And uh, so you take half of 25. You take 12 lightning damage as it arcs uh. out towards you. Ow! As I said, it's trapped by magic. You didn't say anything about the magic. It wasn't very nice, Alimus. I looked to the rest of the group. Did I mention uh, it was magic? My hand. You did. I guess it's next next level that I get the um, good uh, evasion. Good work on the lock, but yeah, yeah. Yep. Dodging that that wouldn't have helped you because oh, you I, would actually it would have helped me. No yep. damage, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. Sorry. I will remember that, mage. I warned you; it was trapped by magic. You said it was trapped. You didn't say anything about magic. You said there was magic. N Your memory is shocking. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Give him a smile. Turn off my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll so you will find the teleportation circle here. Yep. But um, you're detect magic. It's beginning to wear, and you've found nothing else magical in the house. Okay. Search for inks or anything like that in his room. Um. Special. I will say there are essentially uh, there are some, um, like a spell's worth of inks. Okay. So I could do the third level one, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. One spell or one spell level? A spell level ah. worth of ink. 50 gold pieces worth of ink that he was using to okay. write within the book. Great. I'll do a full investigation of this room. Just yeah, to make go sure ahead there's no secret. You can, you can roll it. That was right on the desk, so it didn't require a Anyone going to help me look around? I'll help you look uh. around. Have you got investigation? Uh, I do oh. have investigation. I will get advantage then. 
mean, like, it may not be as good as anybody else. So. 26. 26. You find dusty, crumpled papers, which would, you can clearly recognize from your studies right. as botched spells. Um, you know, he's botched badly limericks. copied many of them. Botched and botched limericks, yes, many of them. Um, <clears throat> you will also, as you are looking around down under the, the shelf, see this, um, what looks to be the dead skeleton of a cat. I, if that I haven't suddenly, already, I feel That suddenly click, 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 looks up at you and. <sighs> and starts to crawl slowly towards you. Okay. I'll reach down and pet it. Hey, undead familiar. <laughs> <laughs> that is coming with us. I'll, I'll like sort of offer it to see whether it wants to like come up on my and shoulder. And we shall name him Scrappy and he will be our best friend and <laughs> It recoils from you a bit at first. Yep. Oh yeah, is there any information in here with that 26? I'll find out who, who actually taught Victor. No, but you will, with that 26, looking around at some of the um, notes he's made, he found this book and is a self-taught magic user. Wow. Like Hendrix. May I, <laughs> may I join the search, but looking more for any secret compartments, any floorboards loose of, of something that the general public probably didn't find on their searches through the house? Um, you may, I will say though, um, you have uncovered pretty much everything in this area. Mm -hmm. um, okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she would. She would just be, you know, looking uh, yeah. on around the house just for that kind of stuff. Yeah, Does going the cat over come it with again. Me? It it doesn't. Damn. It seems to have instructions to stay here. <clears throat> All right. You do also notice there's that teleportation circle, and there is. A considerable pile of dust in the middle of it. I'm just going to study this the circle for a bit and just see if I can see where he bodged up. Not that I know. Sure. Go ahead and make an Arcana check. And also, Cutting. flipping through the book, you will see there are. Um, he has there are um, sort of coordinates to a teleportation circle exactly how to implement them is a bit beyond you but you know that oh that's a teleportation sigil yeah. i don't know how to do that yet but that's so what that looking is. at the actual spell which is what a fifth level spell yeah so look, but you, i can't no, it's understand not the, it but looking at you those, can't understand you know, the spell but you can tell that those are teleportation locations they're kind of matching up like, to the yeah yeah okay um but the okay with an arcana check you can tell it looks pretty good, but um, like everything you understand about it seems right. But that also worries you. Like if you were if you were to say this is how I would do this, just copying it from a book. Yeah, you think that's how I would do it. I would draw it exactly like this. But that kind of worries you because you know that um, without learning it yourself, without understanding it, just copying a spell by rote is yeah. dangerous because everyone responds differently to the weave of magic. You have to harness it yourself and master it and copy it, not just repeat. So maybe so, he's not high enough level really to cast. Yeah, it. yeah, he just hasn't quite gotten to the level he needs to be. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Should we grab your mirror and go? Yes, yeah. Okay. It's a big thing to loot, as I said before. You're more than welcome to carry it out, but uh, you'll be a little bit conspicuous carrying that big old mirror out. When they get outside, there's a giant elk standing by the door grazing on the grass. I wonder what would happen if we took that mirror over to the Burgomaster right now. Hmm. That's not... You, I haven't mentioned that this mirror is magical, by the way. Uh, something I heard in the dream. Never mind. <laughs> hey, uh, actually, uh, on that note, um, Alimus, what's 
Is there any particular reason you wanted those? It's very powerful magic. <laughs> Shit. Wouldn't uh, have known that. And I'll look around oh, to make sure no one's watching. How do you think that creature died? You mean the mirror fell on him? It summons an assassin. No, it would have been broken, you dipshit. <laughs> Not if it's magic. <laughs> The mirror summons a, a spectral assassin. It's just, just a magic mirror that just has constant mending on it. Yeah. Wait, did, wait, did you just, did you say assassin? Yes. It's dark magic. Well, at the very least, we should get it out of here. Exactly, and I'm thinking of hiding it somewhere. Or destroy it. I don't think yeah, we'd be able to destroy it. You sorry? What? I don't think we'd be able to destroy it. Do I have to, how, to how do you destroy magic magic? items? Can we destroy magical items, DM? Well, I mean, no one has tried to destroy this one, or yeah, I mean, you know, I, it would be pretty common knowledge that a, a magic item in itself, like a magical weapon, is incredibly hardy, never needs sharpening, and still stays sharper than the the sharpest blade any whetstone could produce. Um. However, there are others that breaking them can sometimes unleash a particular amount of power. Yeah. Um, you can make a arcana check to try and know more. That is your, like, I am a mage, educated um, sort of amount of information. I'm a okay. mage and I know. So, for instance, you have heard stories of particular powerful staffs that if you, for instance, break it over your knee, it unleashes its power in a wild fashion. Um, uncontrollable, but immensely powerful. Um, so it's it's something that can simply be done uh, with certain magical items. Um, others, like uh, blades and such, are very, very hard to destroy because the magic has infused them with hardiness to hold their edge. So this mirror had fallen over and didn't break for a, Correct. for a start. So do I feel that this mirror can be broken? And if it would, if it could, would it release that assassin on... Uh, go ahead and make a... Um, Okay, we'll use that part of your arcana check. Um, this seems to be something, it's not um, enchanted in the sense that it is invincible. You yeah. think you could potentially break it. The result of that is purely bad. experimentation. You will have no idea what it will do until you do it. I'll explain as we go, but I'll try. we try to cover the mirror on top of the elk with our clothing that we've got spare. We've got loads of clothing spare, so our winter clothing, we've got cloaks and stuff. All right. Um, I set the Burgermeister on that three. Yeah, let's let's make sure that the wife and the Burgermeister get released. They're okay. just going to die in the forest. Well, they're going to die here. Free. They can go back to their house, can they not? Maybe we can tell them that they should head to Barovia, the village. Hmm. It's getting later in the afternoon now as you leave. And as you approach the stocks, you notice no one's there anymore, except the two figures laying. Just Wildo. Do the honors, just Wildo. Oh, hello. There is no response. Hmm. Don't feel like talking? It's all right. I've got good news. Hey. Oh, shit. Are they dead? Hey. Hey. I can want to go check on them. I'm poking. I'm poking the, the man. Okay. His head just kind of lolls back and forth as you do. You know what? I pick him up by his hair and look him. I think this man is not alive. Hmm. Maurice, do you hey, want to I... check the bodies? If they are yeah. alive. Can you confirm? Um. <laughs> yep, they're dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds dead to me. <laughs> check for a pulse. Ah, good idea. I May I make a medicine go check? Go over yes, to yes, of course. with Joe's inspection of the clearly dead body. <laughs> I 
I think I feel a pulse. Oh. Oh, that's yours. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I always get that confused. I rolled a 16 on my medicine check. They seem to be lifeless. Recently. But like lifeless. how recently? Like in the amount of time that it took us to go through the house? Maybe an hour or two. So they're still two warm. hours, three hours. They're not. They're not cold. How would I keep not warm? But... Did they? the The question I'm asking is: Did they die before we spoke to Fiona Fiona Vachter or after? Because I I'm not personally um, clear on how long it has. There's passed. there's no indication they were murdered in the sense that uh, their current awful predicament um, didn't cause their demise, but. Well, they were virtually lifeless when you saw them before, and now they are lifeless. Well, I really do Fuck. think that is for the best. We tried. Yeah. I know. Did we? Yeah. I, can we bring their bodies to the church so that they at least are disposed of in a manner that is at least respectful of human life? I'd be fine with helping with that. And we have a big elk here who can help carry. You're lucky I'm an elk or I'd be t trying to take a nibble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. So yeah, if, if it's all right, let's take the bodies down and bring them to the church. We need to go I would try and anyway. carry some of the bodies if needed. I have 19 strength and I'm huge. Lots yeah, you can drape the bodies over a giant huge. elk, certainly. Who walks... Uh, whenever I'm in elk form, I walk very will, slowly and stately. You will occasionally see a pair of guards or so, sometimes with a black robed figure, approach up to the giant elk and be like, but then they will look to the rest of you. It's just our elk, as no if, problem. As if they've been told who you are and look at and just kind of step back. I have my, my head up very high with the giant antlers. Right, we head up to the, uh, to the church because we have yep. also got a delivery to make. Mm -hmm. A pickup to make. Towards the end, there's one, two, a pair, one guard and one black robed figure. And you see a bit of um, movement below the, um, below the hood. Almost like the shoulders are shaking and you hear. <laughs> well done, you all. Well done. And he then leans back against the wall. I want to kill him so bad. Is that Aragal? Yeah. Well, I mean, make an inside check. Recognize his voice. Yeah, is that, that inside or a perception or Perce what? Well, perception would be fine, yeah. Passive of 17. Uh, I don't know that guy. I have a 16. Passive of I think 17. that's my best perception. The entire Passive of 17 game. doesn't seem to... Uh, no. really. So some random guy's just like laughing and like says, well done. To be fair, you are marching with two bodies, two very well-known bodies slung over the back of a giant creature, just parading them through the street. Oh. I'll cover them up. Okay. Yeah. You do so. We'll respect them. But they were... Uh, you seem to be remarking to your handiwork. Uh oh. Well, let's go to the church. Right. Yeah. Okay. To the church. All right. There's, there's more limericks happening. It's pretty <laughs> it's great. It's terrible. Um, <laughs> I want to share my. Yeah. I'm going to put it out there. <laughs> um. The uh, priest um, will greet you again, stepping outside, and look at you all with tired eyes, say, What is it now? We're hoping we could get a proper burial for the burgomaster and his wife, who have passed on. Does our presence irk you, priest? 
Remember what we did for your church. I greatly appreciate it. But... It will take something greater than you to save this place. What must we do? Just be careful when you take things into your hands that when you fall you don't drag others with you. Yes? Speak not in riddles, priest. I'm certain you mean well. Some of you, at least. But... <sighs> Some... So many... Of the people that I try to care for have come into this very building and prayed that you have never come to this town. Why? they're more frightened than before because or Lady Velaki. a loved one was murdered in their bed maybe I'm sorry what <laughs> it seems oddly personal <laughs> no like are people getting murdered I've heard there's two bodies on my back <laughs> aside aside from them murdered in their bed you didn't hear what happened to Isek oh we heard about Isek wasn't sure if we were referring to someone else so you're relieved which one's Isek sorry Isek was the um the one you summoned the thing to murder yeah <laughs> well that's who they wanted dead wasn't it the bad no, no, nasty no. man that's who lay, that's who Fiona we, Wachter wanted. We yeah. did we did the bidding of an evil woman and we now we're seeing the results. But Why? they don't know that. That creature murdered people. Why would you be care begrudging that? Mm. Because well I don't know what kind of rule will be under Wachter, but as misguided as it was, at least Vargas wanted things to be well. If we had a choice, you'd be in charge here, priest. I don't want that. Then who? Who's good what enough to What do you think would happen place? under the shadow of Ravenloft if I were to come into power of this city? Then let's remove you from the shadow of Ravenloft. Or rather, other way around. Remove the shadow from you. Who should be in power here? I don't know. That's not for me to decide. I just... If I can just maintain this place and bring some comfort to the people here, I... will have answered my calling. Do you think the town will be safer if we leave? Now I have no way of knowing. But I think you have left it a more dangerous place. Well, in, at the very least, accurate. at the very least, in the name of your calling, help me bury these poor folks. Of course. And the young woman is inside. Thank She's you for looking after taking her. a rest. That sounds like a good idea, actually. We'll bury the people first, Jeswaldo, then we can take a break. Okay. 
Is there anything else I can do for you? I will bury these dead. I will see to their internment. Internment. I suppose not. Can you... Have you do you have a safe haven here? For an item of great evil? Or it could be used for great evil. I'm just... I'm barely able to keep these grounds consecrated. Can we bury this item in the ground? As a grave. What is it? It's a mirror. We believe that if we allow it to remain in the hands of those in power, that it could be used to great harm against people here and beyond. We can dig a third unmarked grave. It summons a killer, priest. You can't dispel it. It's a magical item. If I dispelled it, it wouldn't last. The magic would return to it. My Very power well. is not great enough yet. And destroying it, I fear what would happen. Then we will bury it. As you say. Thank you. Once they take the mirror off, I'm going to turn back into my lizard form mm -hmm. um, and say, I can help bury it deep, deep underground. Do so. Claire, a word. Certainly. I pull her aside, so away from right now. I could use the mirror one last time. Against? Who do you think? Strahd. I don't think this uh, creature would be able to touch Strahd. Then Vachter. Hmm. But what consequences would this have? As I said, we removed one evil for another. Who says the next person in charge is not going to be the... Uh, The idiot that was next to her. <laughs> Eric. Uh, I mean, it seems that no matter where we turn, there are servants of Strahd ready to do his bidding. Wachter, mm -hmm. at the very least, seems to actually have the interests of the town at heart as well. I agree. But if we bury it, we could always come back if we decide that that's something mm -hmm. we need to turn to. Let's leave it for now. I mean, there's a certain amount of killing that's necessary, but that seems like an evil that maybe you've touched one time too many. I agree. If we, uh, is there lead around here or anything? The, um, you know, like fallen off? Is it on? That on quantity of lead would be quite a lot to come by. Um, okay. It wouldn't be something you'd have readily available. It would be, a, at the very least, something special ordered that would take a long time to procure. Yeah. Just I... a quick question, just because I don't actually know how this mirror works. Um, in because I don't think I was there for the session it was used. Um, if is it like a creature comes out of it? So no one saw it except for Elimus. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. And he only told us after the fact that he used it. Yeah. Okay. So, he told us that... Literally, uh, a little while ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Recently. I mean, if it's a, a thing about... Um, like, this is out of character, but if it's a, a thing about a, a creature comes out of it and we can't destroy it, then setting up against Strahd, then one of them will die, which will either get rid of Strahd or get rid of the, the mirror's magic... Uh, 
And two, if there's no repercussions for using this mirror, which I assume there is, I think then there why is. don't we keep it and just spam it with our yeah. enemies? It's hefty. It's not, it's like full length mirror, like a wall mirror. Like that's not necessarily inconspicuous. Um, like we could we could keep it and be like uh the uh the you know like you said like fiona and then the guy that would then follow up and then you know what, is we, there a what we need is like a cart we need like a traveling cart that we can yeah. put in any enemy shows up we are like summon <laughs> like done um i believe in i i mean the, the practicality of that aside, um, I know at least in character, I would argue that the overuse of such an item is evil. Karma. And it's karma. Be done. Something's going to happen if you keep You using felt it. something I intense did. about it too yeah. when you mm -hmm. used it the first time. So uh, yeah. I also, the, the priest will reapproach you and say, I'm, I'm sorry to intrude again. We can bury it here. Besides the, well, what we've done to the grounds, I can offer no protection. The Abbey at St. Markovia, there's a holy man there, and it is, well, more fortified than here. It may be a better place to leave this. Well, that was our in one of our intended next destinations. I'm just not sure of the practicality of carrying it around with us. Big big it works fine. <laughs> Do you want to be a pack mule for a, a giant mirror? We have other pressing fine. concerns. Yes. Mind you, we need to go there first, don't we, before we go to the mountains? To Markovia? The Abbey. Yeah. We don't want to take the lady with us. So no, yeah, we, we were going to bring her to Kresk. Anyway. So, sure. We can take the mirror. When I identified it, there was no way to make this smaller or anything. Hmm. It should shrink like the Ring of Power. Yeah. Except, like from like this big to this big Turn and if it's there's a personal right. sacrifice we could always use it just once each and then we're I... all just as fucked as each other no i don't think that'll work not happening you do not have the power to wield it you Such cannot wield check. it none of us can <laughs> yeah. the one ring answers to sauron alone you haven't, you haven't gotten the right nasality you cannot wield it none of us can it has no other master. It has no other master. <laughs> and what Ego. would a ranger know of this matter? <laughs> oh dear, here we go. Uh, we could finish the movie at this right uh, with this group. Um, a however, thing that I can do. what's the what is the decision? Well, we can take the goddamn thing with us. We might as well. But we're not using it. I love being big, big, so it's fine. How long does big, big, big last? Big. <laughs> uh, Right now it's three hours per wild shape. I can do that twice between short rests. I mean, we can we can end up in a run for our lives and have to leave it in the forest somewhere, guys. That's like a Disney movie thing right there. That right? Is <laughs> magic mirror in the forest. Left by a giant elk. <laughs> a giant talking elk? I wish you could yeah. talk. That'd be I can't. I can talk as a giant elk. No one can understand me because I only speak giant elk. <laughs> we, could, we could. We I could put it. We could speak with we could, animals in the ring. God damn it! <laughs> we could get um. Rictavio's um cart. Rictavio's we do need carry. to. We do need to actually check in with him. We haven't seen yeah, him. Yeah, he hasn't returned. Left. What's going on there? He said he was going to yeah. return the next day. He said a couple days, didn't he? He did. He said after the festival. Yeah, and then I left word at the Blue Water Inn that if he returned, they should be, be he should be told that we were going out of town briefly and then coming back. That was for the side quest. Mm -hmm. Has not returned just yet. Fascinating. 
All right, we're back to the Blue Water okay. Inn, right? Maybe tomorrow we decide where we go. Sure. Sounds good. You need to scribe your spell, Alimus. Yes. All right. All right. You, you will return to the Blue Water Inn and find Luvash still drinking, still Jesus. feasting, enjoying <laughs> modern amenities quite a lot. Oh, Luvash. That you, man does not know when to quit. Your brother's what a, a guy. Prick. Okay, we we go yep, upstairs. Argal nowhere to be seen, but yeah. I guess we'll just go to bed. Yeah. After I kind of want to talk to Luvash. <laughs> go talk to Luvash. Well, That's we've fine. We've got Victor's spellbook. You need to speak to Victor, Claire. I know. Well, you get your spell first. I want to okay. bring him the book and talk to him. I with the ink that I've got and with my hundred gold, that should be enough to do a fly. Maris is going to go okay. talk to Lubash <clears throat> and hopefully score some free imbibing things. <laughs> go ahead. He will w welcome you. Um, Yay! Uh, now here's a lady who likes her wine! Come on now! Grab a seat. Sean, I sit down. You What's your story? Oh, you know, we're just hanging out, going through this horrible place. What do you know about Strahd? Is she on the phone? Yeah, I'm, um. like, I'm like, hey, what's up, girl? Um, thanks for the free wine. What like, do you know about Strahd? Um, <laughs> what's going on? Oh my god, hey, girl. What, what, what do you know about what? I was just like, Strahd. It's just a name that I've heard around. <laughs> you may not know anything. It was just like, you know, I'm just trying to get the lay of the land. So... <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Careful. Okay. But yeah. good one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna take this to go. Have a great night. <laughs> Sleep well. Okay. You're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to take some of the wine to Mary and split it. <laughs> okay. We've been waiting to drink all day. <laughs> You did well. I I heard the whole. Oh, we did I'm gonna bring Irena back with us from the church. The church, yes. Yeah. I like to think they'll have like this arm link drink at the same time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're like boop. And at that point, um, you guys are all kind of filing back to your rooms. Just while though you see, um, uh, the group sort of separating into their typical areas, uh, Maris and. Um, Mary, with a bottle of wine between them. Yeah. And, yeah. Do the minus. rooms have mirrors? No. Is there any reflective surface other than the mirror that we have? Do you want to look at yourself? Well, you know, the room, the single room that Mary took does have a mirror. It has like a vanity. Hmm. Well, he will spend some time in his room, sort of, looking. What a man. And then later on, he will knock on Mary's door. And I am assuming that uh, Maris is still there, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe so partying just, in my room. Do, do, do. He's like, <laughs> whew. <laughs> yeah. Just do, 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 do. And he, you answer the door, and he's wearing uh, just simple clothes. Stuff he usually wears underneath his armor. But Mary, he's holding. Is, this wall, though? is he naked? <laughs> is he, is he, <laughs> no, 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 no not, not naked. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I was thinking um, that this, this armor is pretty fantastic, but... Yeah. It's it's not really all that useful for me. But I was wondering if maybe um, you would have a use for it, Mary. It is uh, very good at protecting you, um, but it can appear like normal clothing. And I thought that could possibly be something that you could make use of. Uh, question, DM. Yeah. The armor... 
uh, what is it exactly, and could it go over my dress? So it, can it, it cannot necessarily dress. go over your dress, but it is a plus one studded leather, so very good armor, that will also, you can make it appear like you're wearing any type of clothing you would like. That's okay. how it works. Yeah. So it could look like your dress, it could look like a finer, non-ragged version of your dress. You could make it look like any clothing you wanted. A bathing suit? Okay. And would it change the, the body's appearance as well? Or does it um, just like just literally clothes? No, it basically turns into whatever clo- what clothes you want to wear. Okay. Yeah. It's a specific okay, cool. magic item. It's um uh, leather armor of glamour. Glamoured studded leather. Glamour, that's it. Glamoured studded leather. Are you are you a uh Wow. Uh, are you sure? Yes, I it was it was fun to wear that today, I suppose, but um <laughs> it's not really me anymore. Not, um, not appropriate. And uh, if I were to wear it, the temptation to dress like that would be too great, so. You'd be doing me a favor, really. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, if, if you're sure, I'll, 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 I'll take it. Excellent, um, excellent. Um, it's, uh, it's right here, and I just hand it over. We're having drinks. You want to join us? No, that's all right. I'm fine. I know. Thank you. You uh, have a good time. I will. Uh, I will see you in the morning. And uh, Jeswaldo goes back to his room and smokes his opium pipe to oblivion. Murray, Murray shuts the door. Do I and smell you just... opium? But go ahead. Go ahead. So I was just gonna say, Murray shuts the door. And you just hear us say to Marie, he's like, just why would it just gave me his a, a birthday suit clothes? <laughs> <laughs> yes. My god, you're gonna look amazing in those. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brilliant. Uh, make a perception check, Sarif. Actually, what's your okay. passive? Um, 18. It's related to smell. Oh, okay, yeah. Yes, 18. Um, yeah, you probably smell a little bit of something weird drifting through the... I I will track it down and try and <laughs> knock on the door the second I smell it. Have you, you, you figured out how to knock on doors now, I get. So. Yeah, yeah. Can it... My observation skills. Yeah. Um, with my claws. <laughs> you you notice really Irina, time. Irina with a bottle of wine and three glasses kind of also going along the upstairs. Like, oh, um... Hmm... <laughs> Kind <laughs> of like goes past you. I like heading towards the girls' room. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, so you knock and you I, just I, it's, not, it's not really a, a good pipe. time. Right. Ah. All right. And I let in. Sorry. Are you sure about this? It's. Mm. I'm. I'm hold, Sorry. I'm holding a pipe, like for you to fill the end of it. My bone flute pipe. All right, so this, it's not like tobacco. You have to vaporize it. You have to make it very hot, then it turns into... I know how to do it. Oh, okay. It's tradition in my tribe. Ah, it's very good for forgetting things. Man, yeah. You will notice, Sarif, that though this certainly takes the edge off of some things, you cannot escape that craving for that meat pie that you had back when. Yeah, it's I've been, been growing. A lot of food too. Every day that <laughs> you haven't had it, it has increased and increased. But we're gonna go back to Barovia, and that that priest is going to be like Super Jones in four one. <laughs> <laughs> I never know. Oh, gosh. Um, also, I curl up in a corner somewhere and just fucking drug out. Yep, got it. Irina will come to um, uh, Maris and uh, uh, Mary's room to a knock and kind of ask to join. She's brought her own bottle and three glasses. Of, of course she can. Yeah. Come it, come it. Although when it is bedtime, you're gonna have to go back to your own rooms, but for now it's fine. Of course. Yeah. Come on I, in. You know, and amongst the talk, she will say, "I, I just noticed. Um, you, you have." beautiful hair and 
You take such good care of your nails, but you're you're always kind of messing with it. I just forgive me for intruding, but I just what what is that all about? You just I I just like to look nice, you know how it is. I just I just think you know I don't I don't I don't have any uh any uh suitors so i just try and make myself look nice for the one one day maybe someone will come along well that's 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 lovely i just the nails though just you you file them so often i'm surprised you don't have just you have any left it's a dull nail file (laughs) it's very it's more it's just a habit instead of biting them i just file them down it's really have some drinks have a cat (laughs) <laughs> your nails, oh, Irina. That's fine. We could do so, your nails. So sorry, yeah, when I'll you turn into a when you turn into another animal, do you turn into the other animal completely? You said that so strangely. That, that, like, <laughs> I just wanted to say this is what happens when you let girls play D D. They talk about <laughs> nails, makeup. Otters. May I point out that it was the male DM who brought up the conversation, okay? True. Uh, <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> it's almost like she's noticed something strange, but, you know, who knows? Maris will do anybody's nails. Sorry's looking uh, at uh, you. knocks on the door, so oh, I need mine doing if you can. All right. Um, do, are you answering that question, Sarif? By the way, yeah. um, his his um, scaled over eyes that have been kind of almost he can't shut them really, but he kind of like pops them open again. I am a perfect representation. Ah. so which one is your favorite? Small, warm things, and he turns into a cat and just curls up. Huh. Kind of like lolls on the floor. There's a cat in my room that's high on opium. Yeah, it's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> and sleep takes you all. Um, did did uh, um, uh, Limus finish scribing? Yes, I assume. Okay. I assume he spends the rest of the I time spend. doing that. Unless someone would like to do something else through this evening. Before I go to um, bed, I use my passive investigation to search that spell book. Now I've got more time to sit and do it. Okay, you see um, some notes written in a bit uh, older type of script. Um, this seems to be simply a wizard spell book, but um, there are annotations written in many of the margins. Look to be scribblings from Victor. Um, trying to understand certain things, making notes about certain things, translating different passages, some of which are written in Draconic, some Elvish. Um, the Draconic he's having a real tough time with, but um, he seems to have done pretty well with the Elvish, at least. Um, and he is really just teaching himself this. Um, from nothing. You can see it came from circling certain symbols on spells with question marks and, you know, circling another symbol with a little note that says, also on page five, you know, and you see a little um, key in the beginning that's like this hot, you know, this cold. And he's really sorting out the symbols that this ancestor used to represent these um, magical uh so he's um, quite a genius then if he said, taught himself really so. or he had a lot of time and literally one book yeah maybe a combination but you can see that this may have also been an instructional book in some manner because there are diagrams of hands you know curved in a certain way different um uh you know hand gestures and yeah. such that um, yeah awesome okay okay um I'll take the spell book back, but I'm gonna, um, I, how late is it by the time he's done with the spell book? It only takes me an hour. Only takes him an hour? Do you think I should get it, this Depending back on what level it wait? is, it's in, it's but a half, an hour minutes. and, um, 50 gold per spell level. So if oh, it's a third so level spell, it's three, three hours. hours and 150 okay. gold. Yeah, three hours, yeah. I, I did pay 150. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mm-hmm. I paid 100, I had 50 already. 
Sure. Um, so about how late would it be by the time he's done? I mean, you guys didn't, you guys were there late afternoon, so he probably could get to him by 8 or 9 p.m. Okay. I'll come um, with you. Yeah, we'll, we'll go upstairs and talk to Victor. Okay. He will be there kind of, um, it seems he's found a piece of maybe burnt coal or something and seems to be sketching symbols into the um, wall. Uh, what you doing over there, Victor? Here it comes, true love. I'm... Oh, hi. I'm just trying to remember the ones I forgot. I... It's just, I can't remember the other ones. Well, um, we can help you with that. And I will produce the spellbook. You brought it for me. I told you I would. And he will kind of rush forward and uh, 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 uh. Well, now Obviously we're giving the spell book back to you but we're hoping that you could help us you've got a lot of knowledge up in that brain of yours and a lot of knowledge in this book and it could be very very helpful to us the fact we're trying you to taught yourself work. I'm very impressed by so we're hoping that we can make an arrangement with you where as my friend Alimus here begins to become more powerful and come into his own increased arcane abilities if you could teach him the spells that he cannot learn yet I can also help you with others you do not know and maybe we would also we're also wondering whether you would be interested in leaving Valaki Of course I'll go with you and teach your friend how to be a mage. Yeah. That sounds great. Um, it'll be best if you stay up here um, for the time being, Victor. But when we get ready to depart, we'll bring you with us. I can keep the book, though? Yes. Okay. But don't cast anything or they'll kill me, right? Okay. No casting. No casting right. whatsoever. I'll, 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 I'll hide it. I'll just I'll just read it and keep trying to understand this damn circle. Victor. Understand, but don't write. Why? You were doing the circle almost correct. I checked. But sadly, that spell will not work here in these lands. Remember we talked about that, Victor? That Barovia is different? Strahd will not allow anyone to teleport away. If you use it, it will kill you. You had the spell correct. Almost. So you don't know if I got it correct, if it would work or not. We know. Also, I didn't get it correct, did I? You're very close. But even if you do get it correct, you won't be going so, anywhere. Does, what does that mean? What happened to the, the... the... the lady that I tried to escape from here? We told you she got sent elsewhere. At least that, that's our hypothesis. <laughs> Make it... Are you... Does Claire believe that? No. That is a hypothesis. No. <laughs> Go ahead and make a deception check. One of those. I say, what do you think would have happened, Victor? Claire's got a plus seven in deception. I can, uh, I can, I can give her advantage on that, actually. Uh, you could, you could. Yeah. What, well, my... what do you, what do you, how do you reinforce her statement there to, to lie to him? Say, if you get the spell correct, incorrect, it could send someone anywhere or destroy them. So she could be anywhere. Okay. Go ahead and re-roll, Claire. Okay. For the advantage. Well, that was even worse. So 16. Okay. Uh, I can't 15. roll to save my yeah. life. Oh, 16 was the first one. 15. What? Okay. I I trust you. Oh. And she says looking What's... at, at um, Claire. Hmm. Yeah. 
do, do I believe? Probably that? a better place. Much better. Yeah. All right. Well, no okay, I won't do anything with it. I'm just going to read it. We have um, your word, but... Victor, yes? Yeah. Any spells cast, we take it back. That's your word. For like a little while, right? If you cast any spells in here, we'll take Right, in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I got it. Okay. Have a good night, Victor. Night. And we'll leave the room. You can hear as you're closing the door uh, of um, uh, rustling pages. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Nothing like that. I don't know. I don't know how to make that sound. <laughs> oh, we can't oh, hear that. Oh, I can't hear that one. Hear that. <laughs> the other one. There's so many. This was such a tonight. sweet. It's all because it was, of you. <laughs> it was such a sweet scene, and then. Oh. <laughs> all right. Okay. I'm not a sound effects guy. Um, That's okay. Uh, that okay. was a sound effect. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Um, I will go find the ladies, I guess. Right. Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> with permission of, of the DM with Irina, <laughs> when Claire enters Marie's room, uh, Marie has her unseen servant out, and they are doing... Nails like hers, makeup like hers, and hair like hers on all the girls. God. I'm so ready! <laughs> An inspired use of Unseen Serpent. Yes, that's fine. We all and Claire know walks into it. We all know what Victor uses his Unseen Servant for. No! For writing poems No, stop it. For writing limericks. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh. Wow. You guys are fancy. Do you want to join in? <laughs> Hi, we look so pretty, and we know that you'll look so pretty, too. And I... Maris shoves a bottle of wine into her hands. <laughs> I'll take the wine, but I'll pass on the makeover okay we'll For talk now. to you again in a little bit we'll, we'll talk again what i can't sit in here while this goes on oh no 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 i just think that you need to drink and then we'll discuss the makeover again just drink don't worry about yeah it. i think i think she means we'll ask again in a few minutes whatever okay. it's fine Irina said she liked my hair so i thought i'd do it and then marisa just it just became a thing i mean I don't know. it looks like it's gonna be great on you arena Thank you. Um, it's just well, uh, but please come in. Make yourself comfortable. Um, sure. I think it's important in all things to you know rest and you know I let down your do guard a bit among friends. I, that's, I do that's have a totally question fair. while all your ladies are here. <laughs> so. What? <laughs> I was like, is it about just Waldo being naked? <laughs> Maybe. No. Just Waldo. <laughs> I'm new, okay? And I just want, does anyone know anything about him? He's from like, at all. On? Uh, uh, mm, um. A M N. Um. Um. um he's from Um. That sounds like he just was like, um, I don't know, and just <laughs> threw that um, in there. I mean, I actually think it's a real place, but he's not really talkative about his past. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've been trying to, I mean, I've been trying to get to know Sari, and he's uh, he's cool, but I don't think he's much of a, a talker, but I'm going to keep trying. But just Waldo just seems to leave every time I try and talk to him alone, and I don't get it. But he just gave you that really nice gift, so it's probably... Yeah, and then he left. He's just weird. I know we invited him, but he's fine. I don't know. I mean, he said something about 
not taking girls to bed whom he doesn't respect. Yeah, I, I know that. I'm talking about just him on his own. Human. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't care about that. That's whatever. <laughs> I mean, you weren't here for this, but sort of in the beginning, he was a little bit more forward? Flirty and fun. Flirty. <laughs> Yeah, um, and then I came around and that all that all stopped. Okay, well, that's no, it's more Damn like a, <laughs> I think he realized how real the situation was. Yeah, that's, and that's that fair. that there's what more about... important things than just well, <laughs> he finds other opportunities to be Jeswaldoy, but you know. What about salary? What about Sarif? Sarif is list. my favorite. <laughs> we love him. I love He's pretty Sarif. fucking adorable. He's so fun. He turns into a like big furry animal. You can ride. Like it's the best. <laughs> and then and then my brother. I'm just saying, if any of you like him, you He's have to an go asshole. through. <laughs> you have to go through. You have to go through my test, and you already will pass. So it's fine if you want to go. That's um, okay. I'm good. Excuse he me. What? Seems <laughs> nice, like a good friend. <laughs> the line must just get friend zoned by everyone. <laughs> 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 I could be very persuasive. A, un- a unanimous <laughs> friend zone in the room. <laughs> Irina hasn't said anything. <laughs> That's true, actually. She hasn't. As the wine begins to take more and more effect, unless there are spe- more specifics you guys want to go over. I just wanted to see if anyone had any information about <laughs> about Jeswaldo and Osari, but nope. I think I think I'm just everyone's just as lost as I am. Seems like it. We don't know shit. No. Nope. Claire would be the one. She's the one, the one taking notes. It's true. That's true. And with um, tired minds, some um, some uh, near incapacitated minds, and some just warm, fuzzy, pleasant brains on the wine, um, everyone beds down for the evening. Um, okay, get out of my room. <laughs> and are I guess promptly kicked er- out by Mary before that. But Irina okay. and Maris and I will stumble back to our beds. Indeed. Yeah. And I think that's where we'll call it tonight. Um, you guys will, of course, long rest. Uh, interesting decisions with uh, various things happening. Again, dodging my uh, dodging my combats and just acquiescing to which the, one. You know, I wanted to murder them. The house. Mm. There were a couple, but that you sidestepped potentially. <laughs> but you know, I was. To, uh, I still want to murder them. Well, you know, you've got a magic mirror. I think that was a really big mistake. To not kill them. <laughs> yeah. Well, to think... not to give them the um to give them the book. I think it was a yeah. bad mistake to give them it. Personally, but... I think we should have just killed them there and then. Like, if they have money now, they're gonna pay guards. I think they, uh, they've got this book. Sorry, has discovered a love of heists. So when you mentioned going and stealing, he was like, "Yeah, steal. yeah." Fun. All right. Well. Um, Wine night, girl talk, <laughs> limericks. Don't do drugs, kids. And extortion. <laughs> no. It's just a typical day in Barovia. <laughs> <laughs> for tuning in. Don't forget, um, Sean a good runs guess. a fantastic <sighs> game. So um, look, I think we'll have stuff posted about our sponsorship there. Um, play with him. It's totally worth it. It's awesome. Um, keep an eye out. Sunday, we might have an Aeroth game. Really cool world that both Jade and Panda play in. And then... Um, of course, Monday nights, um, uh, we have um, Descent into Avernus with uh, Trapped at Home, which Sean runs as well, which is awesome. I'm loving playing in it. So um, mm-hmm. a lot of cool yeah, stuff too. going on on this channel. So oh, come right, go hang boom. out with us and yeah, listen, get ready to listen to that a bunch, uh, you know, unless he's <laughs> stuck on <laughs> Next chewing Next time gum. some D&D would be nice. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, friends. Cheers, guys. Uh, thank you thank very you. much for the follows and that. And uh, Good night. yeah, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.